Hello and welcome back to the Earthborn Games Advanced Playcast Day. What are we on? Six. Yeah. The long-awaited return. We had a GameFound campaign for our expansions and our reprints, and uh, so we, we took a little bit of time off from recording these. Uh, a Andrew uh, Obobobo did two days uh, in Costa Rica solo playing, but now we are back with Varlo Finn, my, my uh, undaunted seeker here. And today I'm not joined by Renzo, but by a new ranger. Uh, what's, your, what's your ranger's name? Uh, I guess I'm going to go with Scully Cooper. <laughs> Cause it's, cause it's really little... really i'm sure andrew will love how thematic scully cooper I know. is everyone else's name is so like star warsy or earthborny and i'm just like scully cooper uh because it was funny and it came to my mind I'm like i don't know why it was the first thing that came well that's to my mind. okay uh in our basic playcast it was renzo and friendo so <laughs> yeah no it's a little bit uh so you've joined the party uh yeah so uh yeah, you are joining us today, and we can kind of talk about some of the specifics of what's in your deck as mm -hmm. it comes out. But why don't you give us the high level? Uh, your deck is uh, in sleeves, and mine is uh, mine's yeah. actually printed. So what's the deal with your deck over here? Yeah, well, actually, first off, I should say because we can, I'm Corey. Oh yes, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no one's seen my face before. I was on the podcast <laughs> once, and like the video failed, so like only my audio is. On. Oh really? Yeah. So I'm Corey. I, I, um, I kind of forget that you're not on like on our regular recordings. I know. So. I'm just like this. Uh, I'm just exist on the Discord. Um, but yeah, I'm Corey, and I am playing. Like I said, Scully Cooper, who is a. 100% steward of the valley. I decided since I'm joining and we've announced everything mm -hmm. uh, and released the stewards of the valley expansion that this entire deck besides two reward cards that I just added that's true yeah, that's um, is stewards of the valley starting uh, materials including the personalities. So for those of you who don't know that stewards of the valley is our new expansion that adds ranger cards to the game and so it adds the tail spinner background and the spirit speaker specialty. Yes. <clears throat> and so you, you you've chosen both of those. I've chosen both of those. So I am uh, I am a uh, a spirit speaker and a tail spinner, um, and I am it should show up here. Um, I am a cartographer of many worlds is the role that I went with as a spirit speaker. Oh no, there's some light leaking in across the table. That's fine. Oh, it's a Andrew was doing it like in Costa Rica with true. like a dog pooping in the background. So true, true, true. A, a little bit of sunlight's not <laughs> yeah, gonna. A little sunlight, it'll pass. It, it blends in with the sun rays. Yeah, here. if anything, it, it does look like it doesn't look like a downpour. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm a cartographer of many worlds, which is one of the uh, spirit speaker roles. Um, and so to just give like a high level idea of how this deck and just how spirit speakers kind of work in general, uh, this. Uh, the spirit speakers, each of them are different, but this one specifically, it has this ability that uh, when I exhaust it and spend an energy, so I exhaust it for the round or whatever, um, uh, you get to what's called spirit speak. And when you spirit speak, uh, you no longer use your common tests card as normal. So you have these four common tests that we can do at any time that we would like. Uh, instead, you swap out your common test card while you're spirit speaking with the spirit speaker test card. So you can kind of think of it as like, when I'm unexhausted, right, and I'm not spirit speaking, I'm uh, I'm just normal in the world, doing stuff, traversing, talking to people, remembering things, you know, just normal ranger. But when I spirit speak, I'm like meditating or like my head is somewhere else and I've now entered the spirit realm mentally and I no longer can do common tests. Instead, I'm doing my spirit speaker tests. Uh, which each one is a little bit different. Uh, should I go through them all right now? No, 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 no. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll just kind of have you do them, and we'll introduce your cards as we you play them and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this this deck specifically um, is kind of designed so that because uh, here's the the thing about spirit speaking is that you're spirit speaking as long as you're exhausted. So, and, and so basically until the end of the round. But I have some tools in my deck which I won't get tuned into. But like one is this. Tail spinner card, this transverse ocarina, which I can, if I have a tail attached to my roll, I can unexhaust my roll and get it, wake myself up with my ocarina and get back my common tests and, and you know, traverse or do something else. 
Uh, so I kind of have the ability to kind of go in and out of spirit speaking. And I think uh, you swapped in a ranger badge too that'll let you do yes, that. Yes, I have a ranger badge that'll help me unexhaust my roll. I also have this stout hearted ranger, which is the tail that I can attach to my roll, which which it gives me like some fatigue stuff. But other than that, it's it's really used for the ocarina. And then also I have the ranger badge, which is uh, well, lets me ready my roll for one of the experience points. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, the, the XP. Uh, yeah, we thought that was cute. Uh, but yeah, so but, that's... Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get into it once we'll we get, we get to play it. it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, let's dive into it. We are on day six. Uh, if you haven't caught up yet, you can go watch Obo Bobo's solo adventures that got us to this point. But normally when we've kind of handed off, we've handed off with some kind of letter or something. But today we start with no word from Obo Bobo. Mm -hmm. It's been pouring rain. There's news of floods everywhere. And we haven't heard a thing from poor Obo. Yeah. We are, we're at Lone Tree Station. Uh, and uh, we'll just dive right in here. Uh, our day starts by us reading 94.2. So My favorite radio station. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that does sound like a... I'm, I'm going to use the Living Valley today uh, on my phone. So at 94, if you've completed Rising Waters, unfortunately, uh, it looks like Obo only got... Uh, one location. Oh, I marked the wrong one. He only got Kobo's Market, the middle one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other two are not. Uh, so, haven't completed it. It hasn't rained heavily. F uh, it has rained heavily for the last two days, but this morning it has finally begun to subside. You see a runner approaching, wet and ragged. After he catches his breath, he tells you of the flood damage done to the area surrounding White Sky Lake and asks if you might be of assistance by helping to clear debris and repair the damage. And there's, there's something else, he says. For each location not marked off to, next to Rising Waters, record the location name followed by Flooded on the campaign tracker. Complete Rising Waters, then read 107A. So we completed Rising Waters. We can check that off. And unfortunately, both White Sky... And Golden Shore have been flooded. That happened to me recently in my solo run. I had, Did it really? It pretty much the exact same. In case I got stuck in the uh, grasslands. The yeah the uh, the timer on Rising Waters is pretty short. It's it's a hard mission to do. It's mm -hmm. like it it's kind of the stuff gets real mission, right? Yeah, like the first yeah. three days let you kind of explore and then Rising Waters shows you that the plot line can be a little, can get a little serious on you. Oh, for sure. All right, so 107A, uh, you, follow, you follow the man to a small crowd of people gathered by a wide, dark tangle of fallen trees, murmuring to, to one another in low tones. Calypso and Cal Ivor are there as well, speaking quietly to one another. Among the debris, there is a startling sight dozens of strange corpses deposited here by the flood the corpses are battered broken and caked in filth but they are all clearly one species a biomeld and unlike anything any of you have ever seen you can see pale flesh eyeless faces and long limbs and digging claws calypso approaches you with a haunted look on her face cal and i are gonna help clean up this mess what are they? And where did they come from? She places her hand on your shoulder. <laughs> I was going to do this. <laughs> you beat me to it. Bring word of this to Elder, Elder Orlin and Spire. If anyone in the valley knows what these things are, it's her. Travel to Spire within the next four days to speak with Elder Orlin. Gain the Journey Spire mission and record 94.3 four days from now on the campaign tracker. So we got one, two, three, four. I feel like I want to play this game as, uh, you know, when you're playing a, a video game RPG and your character doesn't speak, you just like click the <laughs> option and your character just stares at them yeah, and you, like nods. And that's like, you know, maybe. You're, you're playing Link? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just Link, just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, just a good listener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> you're just going to be my silent companion this whole yeah. time? Someone puts your hand on your shoulder, looks you in your eyes, you're like... <laughs> this is a very video game experience. Alright, so we've got Journey Spire here. 
Mm -hmm. And nothing else. That's it for us to start. Man. So no word from poor Obo, but get, uh, we can gather from this flood damage that he unfortunately didn't make it on his on his mission there. Um, yeah, he's probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> no other, no other option. No other option. Yeah, rest uh, in peace, Obo. Yeah. We, we'll uh, uh, honor you at the ancestors' grove, but uh, we've we've got to strike out here on our own. <laughs> Though we've got we've got actually four days mm -hmm. until we need to be at Spire. So I guess this is the advanced playcast. We, we've got mm -hmm. a, a brand some brand new cards to show off in the advanced playcast, but like I feel like. We should. What's our? What are we trying to do here? Yeah, yeah. We sh should probably get some reward cards. Uh, finally, right? Yeah, we're a little light. So, <laughs> because for those of you who are just tuning in now, uh, <laughs> we started the advanced playcast by Andrew and I attempting to get. Oh, sorry, Obo Bobo and I attempting to get all the way down to tumble down on day one. Uh, as a result, we haven't done as many side activities, and we're yeah. still at two reward cards <laughs> yes. total. So uh, maybe uh, we're set up pretty good. We're at Lone Tree Station right now mm -hmm. by way of White Sky. So we're on the Lakeshore path. Yeah, Muckets. Yeah, and the, the Lutronals. Woods would have been better, but like mm -hmm. we're set up to help some people out at Lone Tree. Yeah. So I say I think we should do like reward card extravaganza here. Yeah, yeah. So like Let's see how many reward cards we can get in one day, is yeah. my vote. No, I, I like this. Uh, we went all the way to the swamp. We came back, and now we're like, let's get early early game rewards. <laughs> like, the, the least spoilery rewards we Yeah, I mean, should, should we push harder? We could, we could run to Spire and try to get Spire rewards no, instead. I think, I think this is good. I okay. Think because, you know, maybe there's some people who are still this early. It's like we're not spoiling later stuff, right? Mm -hmm. We've already read the entry. Uh, the the something a miss entry here, so I think we can uh, prepare for it and give people more time to catch up. All right, let's let's crank through this. So um, first, let's draw our hands. Mm -hmm. And Andrew did something; he laid them all out, which I thought was kind of nice yeah. at the start. So I'm gonna draw. Uh, so why, why don't you yeah, go first? You got no. the new cards. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, yeah, you're right. We should do it when it's like he was doing it solo. I was just yep. All right, so I got the long walk which is a uh, new gear from the t uh, Spirit Speaker, and it's pretty pretty handy. It mm -hmm. lets we, me put we, we, stuff we, on we don't probably need to dive into every single one to, to keep a, a runtime okay. When you play it, we'll get into the, the, your, the details. Your, this is called filming and not being on camera. And I'm not, <laughs> you know. Enthusiastic, which is a new personality. Hush Little Critter, which is an attachment from Tailspinner. Your, your lullaby card. Oh. That's one I want early. Uh, want my is little, that the one that lets you like, unexhaust? Uh, if I get the Ocarina, but okay. it's like you need one of them. And then uh, another new personality, and then the Heart Harmonizer, which is uh, a Spirit Speaker tech gear. Notably, no spirits. Yeah, I have a lot in here. You gonna you gonna mulligan? I'll probably mulligan a couple. Yeah, probably like these three. Okay. And then, uh, we yeah, so just set up some at the side, draw three new. Yeah. Oh, Spirit of the Valley. All right. Which all is right. my big spirit. So then I'm glad I did that. That one's like all support, though, right? You really want one of your staple spirits here. True, but I can load that thing up and okay. I can get fatigue from it where I can soothe and stuff. So, you know. The Trail Goes Ever On, which is another uh, tail spinner, a tail or attachment. So. All right. Did you run any? I know there's some cards that let you go like fetch spirits to help find them when you. I can't. didn't um, okay. because I'm high focus. My thought was I can remember. Oh, th okay, that's a good point. Yeah, because yeah. you're at three. Yeah. All right, so I've got trail markers, eagle eye, field journal, perfect recall, iron wool boots, and breathe into it. Okay, this is pretty solid. So trail yeah. markers is great, just so that I can key up something for Strider. Eagle Eye is going to be key to our plan here. Mm -hmm. Perfect Recall is key for me playing Eagle Eye more than once at Lone Tree for us to get more rewards. Iron Wall Boots is just solid. I think my question here is Breathe Into It and Field Journal. Hmm. And this is one of those instances where, uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I know 
that I have not played as much as you. <laughs> and also, this is all new stuff, so we'll, we'll see how smooth my, my playing goes. Oh, no, it's um, fine. You're fine. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Listen, Evan and I spent two full sessions in the swamp, all right? Like, you've got the easy job here. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, all right, so uh, Breathe Into It's definite mulligan. The one I'm kind of hemming and pawing here about is Field Journal. It's a pretty solid, just, effort generator. Um, especially if I'm not fishing for other things, but like I'm kind of weighing it against just getting combo pieces into play. Like I've got things like Reaver Block It uh, mm -hmm. and other parts of the the super good Traveler combo stuff. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna mull one. Yeah, it's a perceptive. It'll give me some more awareness energy, I guess. Yeah. All right, that sets us up there. Do we want to read the uh, Lone Tree Station entry? We've already read it once before, but I think. We can save it just to save a little time. We'll be we'll be reading a lot of entries from people as they enter. That's true. So we all know it's a beautiful, awesome redwood, and uh, we know that doesn't have any kind of fancy statements. Yeah. Well, that's for good measure. We'll go check it quick. We can see we don't have any like yeah. mechanics that can trigger. So we'll skip it for this one. Um, yeah. But uh, no, we, we've read it before. It. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, then we're going to search for the next predator and discard it. Mm -hmm. Which will be good. Is it the Nyad? Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. We are set up sweet. <laughs> the Nyad is the first one out. Like we uh, drew it up. I'm, I'm glad we didn't hit a Lutronol. That would yeah. have been... Because I think they're Predators, right? Still. Uh, Lutronol... I think they're both Predator and Prey. They are Predator and Prey, I believe. Um, I guess, yeah. and then... Uh, oh, am I Lead Ranger or are you? Uh, I'll let you be lead ranger. I've never left Lone Tree in my life. <laughs> uh, you came back. Wait, you were born here? You came back and they were just like, here's this spirit speaker. He's totally never left the tree. Speak of the devil, it is a predator. All right, and then uh, we draw cards for the first round. Oh, hi, Pimpot. Oh, -hoo. yep, we're getting started. Right off the bat. All right, he's number 47. Yeah, and by the way, if you, let me know if you need to like, trade off reading or anything like that. Oh, no, you're fine. Happy to help. You hear High's shrill whistle long before you see him. It's said that every ranger in the valley has tried to teach High Pimpot a new song to whistle, but none of them have succeeded. Eventually, you spot... <laughs> I, I like how... You, there's two ways to read that. <laughs> you, you could read it that like he knows every song. I, and I'm, I'm sure that's what we intended. You mm -hmm. could read it that he, he knows every song, but you could also read it that he's just a really terrible learner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or just refuses. Uh, eventually you spot the stout little gnome of a man intently chopping and mixing vinegary smelling herbs and vegetables into a large bowl. Good, good, you're here! Uh, he, he says without looking at you. Try this stew! I need to know if it, I've hit the right balance between pleasant heat and tongue searing. What does it need? Kelpweed? Morning root? You can help High Pimpot by gathering ingredients for the stew. Or you can clear him with progress to ask him how to make the stew as good as possible. That actually might be handy that we're Lakeshore because muckets and stuff like that, right? Because it's like um, only brambles. Yeah, he, he wants so we can uh, harvest local plants. So attach a flora face down. Yeah. So it's going to be uh, things like the kelp weed or the... Actually, we could have done the naiad. So I almost <laughs> wish we hadn't shuffled oh, it out. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny. Yeah, true. Uh, so draw your card. Yeah. Ooh, topside mast for when we need to make a clean getaway. Yeah, we could have used that one later, to be honest, but... That's okay. Uh, let's see here. Enters play. High atop Lone Tree Station, you'll find a series of circular platforms of polished wood and forged carbon. During your training, on clear, windless days, these platforms served as a refuge. You would often spend your free time in the afternoons bathing there in the sun sitting in quiet contemplation and looking out over the mirrored surface of White Sky Lake. You'd also looked wistfully at the airship known as the Swift, its hull gleaming in the sun, as Ben Amon would climb aboard and launch it into the air. The legs of the vehicle would compress and then extend with a sudden movement, propelling it upward with tremendous force. Then, once it reached its apex, its wings would unfurl and the glider would soundlessly soar towards the horizon steadily descending as it flew towards its destination. Calypso told you and the other initiates that it was prone to roll and crash in inclement weather, <laughs> and if you flew it any great distance, its energy cells would, would drain, and the swift would go inert, unable to launch for days before the cells recharged. 
All this was clearly meant to dissuade you from taking the Swift out on your own. But when you look at the airship, you can't help but feel a surge of excitement. To soar high above the valley would surely be exhilarating, if not a little terrifying. Now that you're full -fledged, a full-fledged ranger, perhaps you can convince the crew to take you for a ride. Clear topside mast with ranger tokens to take the Swift for a ride. I, I love how uh, long that entry is compared to other ones. Like, I can tell Andrew was excited to like, talk about the Swift and, like, oh, yeah. really get into the, the mechanics of it. Well, like, yeah, the Swift really evolved as we were developing and, like, uh, its exact, like, mechanics and functionality mm -hmm. and how it all worked. And, like, Evan actually 3D modeled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's, uh, we wanted to, like, do it justice, you know? No, it's cool. All right. So let's dive in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to start us off with, uh, a nice, quick, yeah, iron wool boots. All right. You know, I realize I've never actually played an attachment to my roll. That doesn't go away when we like travel or anything. Right? No. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, I, man, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I really want to draw a uh, reverb block it. Mm -hmm. to attach this eagle eye to, but I think I'm just going to eagle eye and perfect recall it to really dig through this deck. Yeah, yeah. If you can... Oh. Already cheating. The Lutron all ambushed me. Oh. I have a fatigue. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, man. Already, jeez. Uh, you know what? Listen, we've been doing the game found. I haven't actually played since before the no, game no, found. No, no, I mean, so. same, same here. I, I, I'm like... And also, I'm new to all these cards. I'm like, I kind of want to get some fatigue so I can get some fatigue soothing from some of this stuff. I mean, uh, throw on some gear, though I guess uh, I, I wouldn't say no to you saving some of that spirit to help connect with my Lutronel here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I have some ways I can help with that. Let me, let me see. Or, I guess, connecting with high here. Yeah. Let me see. I can dodge the Lutronel. Well, I'm going to use my spirit. I know that you just said that, but I'm going to get out my Heart Harmonizer, which is, uh, lets me, it gives me, I can soothe fatigue whenever I connect or commune. Oh, sweet. Which is a Spirit Speaker test, commune. And I can, so anyways, it gives me the ability to just like, if I take some fatigue, I can, you know, get some double use out of that connecting. All right, well, I'm just going to start us off early here, just start loading up the board with an Eagle Eye. You can load it. So we're scouting three cards. We got muckets. We got more muckets. Oh, they aren't okay. They aren't flora. No, no, they're um, they're uh, crustaceans. Yeah, yeah. I guess, but my in my mind, I didn't know what they were actually put in the game. You know. All right, so we've got a lot of chill stuff here, but we're looking for we're looking for missions, right? We're looking for flora for high, or we're looking for like mission people. So. We could, so I think we put this back on top so that we can throw it in a stew, right? Yeah, because we'll draw that. Um, the question is, like, these give us a nice chill time because there's zero presence, mm -hmm. but they're not more missions. I think we can get rid of them. All right. Let's roll the dice. We're going to be in Lutronal City. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I can scout past, well, one, we're at, we're at Lone Tree, so we can search for people. Uh, and then also I can scout with here. That's a good point. Maybe playing Eagle Eye wasn't the right call. I mean, it's a free draw, though. So you got to help it out. That's fine. Well, I mean, so is this. Maybe I should have saved Eagle Eye. It's more efficient, at least. Yeah. yeah. No. We're, we're, All right, go ahead. You know, I'm, I'm loading up my board first. So, like, I'm going to go ahead and pump out uh, Spirit of the Valley. Which... Uh, Notably, so it's one of your spirits. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, uh, uh, full disclaimer to folks at home, uh, some of these cards, this is just unfinished art, so this is a sketch mm -hmm. of what it'll eventually be. Also, the card template isn't done. Uh, these challenge effects are just pasted on top of our normal <laughs> template. So uh, don't blame Evan for my hasty game designer graphic design yeah. here. Uh, or text butting up against Yeah, yeah there's, and, some, there's some text yeah, overlaps. Yeah. The artist credits aren't on it. So a lot of Corey's cards are going to be Kind of in development cards, mm -hmm. including the pop ups, because I'm probably just going to take the image from this PDF. Yeah. So some of the pop ups are also going to have the same problem. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm very. But despite being your your ally in the form of a spirit, it is mm -hmm. one presence. Yeah. 
So I'll get some fatigue from this, but that's okay, because I can do stuff with that. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. You could also move it like up along the way so it's not getting in your way quite as much. Mm. And then I trigger its challenge effects. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to do next here? Should I perfect recall? Should I save that? <laughs> how much do we want to dig? How quickly do we want to dig, <laughs> dig through this deck? I guess we got to start connecting with. We got to yeah, we got to start dealing with. We got to do one thing at a time. One thing. At all time. right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, um, okay. I'm gonna equip a field journal. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I've spent a lot of my money. <laughs> um, one second. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's handy. So for high, what is it? If you have to attach a floor to him that way, okay. I was wondering if I should play the trail goes ever on and attach it to the location, which is after a ranger suffers one or more fatigue, you can add progress to the attached card equal to the number of fatigue suffered. So we can just put free progress on Lone Tree. Yeah, though, I mean, like, I have three fitness. I'm not super worried. I was also going to ask you, do we actually want to... Uh, are we going to try to topside Mast out of here? I guess it depends on the mission, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I imagine we'd rather do this. So I actually don't think we really need to spend much time traversing that. That's fine with me, then. Well, maybe I should go ahead and... Talk to this Lutronol. Right? Yeah, that, that or high, probably. Yeah, so I could connect. Um, but I, here, I'm, I'm still new to this. I'm going to check out my spirit speaker tests here and see what I can do if I want to swap over to that. Um, I am low on everything, though. I see it's fatigue. Move a feature of Cheater. being. So I can influence, which lets me move a feature of being. But when, the one I'm looking at would be... By the way, I sued the fatigue when I played Eagle Eye. You did? Yeah, okay. I'm just missing all my fatigue triggers today. Okay, so I don't actually need my Spirit Speaker test right away because I just need to get that boy away from you. Um, or I guess I need to deal with high. That's what I need to deal with. Well, uh, yeah, so, so if you have awareness, you mm -hmm. could use some of your awareness. It is a difficulty two test. You could use this harvest test to start making some stew with this kelp weed. Yeah. You could chat with him so that we could get his side activity. Mm -hmm. Or you could chat with the Lutronol. Up to you. Well, I guess you can't. You, you don't, you're out of spirit right now, right? Yeah. Here. So I think probably High's Harvest Test is your best option. Yeah, okay. We'll do a Harvest Test. I think I have the ability to do that. It's difficulty two? Yeah, it's Awareness plus Reason. Jeez. Um, but then you attach a floor to him. All right. Well, let's try because we... This, we, I think we both have a one awareness. Oh yeah, no, it's uh, we we did not we do not have good stew making builds here. Yeah, no, it's okay. Um, so I take one fatigue from the Spirit of the Valley, right? Yeah. But not from the Lutronol, right? Because I'm coming yep. over here. Correct. Um, and I'm going to do uh, the harvest uh, local plants on high pin pots. So that's one awareness and two reason. Ooh, okay. And a plus one. You didn't even need it. Jeez. Okay. Um, well, that's hatch the flora know. face down to high. When there are three attached, we read an entry. Awesome. Uh, and then just checking to see if there's anything I need to do. And uh, at least in past tradition, we use a slight amount of advanced knowledge for the advanced play cast. So yeah. we're going to want to clear them with progress before we make that stew. Just uh. Oh. Yeah. I, I actually have not done this one. This is like, I, I've done a okay. lot of other stuff outside of Lone Tree. So. Oh, sorry, I'm this spoiling is, no, no, things. No, no, this is, this is a new, new, I've read the stuff, because <laughs> I proofread. But uh, I'm actually not as far along as I'd like to be. All right, so mountains, no mountains up here. Uh, there's no active predator, and then what? what uh... You may discard three progress from the spirit to gain one energy of any type. Okay, not relevance. Yeah. Okay, well, I know I said... We don't want to traverse Lone Tree, but I kind of want this one. Mm. No, I'm going to save it. Uh, so we don't need to do that. I think I'm just going to throw, uh, besides it raining, it's not too dangerous. I'm just throwing one spirit. I'm throwing a spirit at connecting with high. Plus one. Nice. All right. Two. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the sun effect, which... So it rains on us, we rains, suffer fatigue. Yeah, we suffer fatigue. Yeah, careful with your uh, fatigue suffering there. We're, we might get into some trouble. Oh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. <laughs> I have some soothe already. And there's no other romping luchinol, so I'm good. Go ahead. All right. Um, it was a reshuffle. Oh, thank you. Actually, do you mind doing that? Yeah, since I'm you go ahead. Rolling here. All right. Um, well, maybe I can get another spear. Uh, no, let's see. I only have fitness. And I don't really have a need for fitness right now. Let's see. I do have this. Um, hmm. I can't. That's not, not going to be useful for me right now. Just trying to decide. I might have to rest, honestly, or spend my fitness doing something else. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could traverse, but I don't think it's worth it. Not worth the rain, not worth the fatigue from your spirit. Yeah. So I think I think resting is... I'm going to rest. All right, I, 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 I just don't have anything that I can do right now. I am too. I get a charge on my field journal nice. from one focus. And new round. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, draw a card, and then draw a path. Okay. More kelp. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put my die on this. I have four songs on my heart harmonizer. I like that they're called songs. All right, uh, I drew another kelp weed. Go ahead and draw a path card. Nice, that's handy. Uh, Cordo, Ranger Veteran. Turns out Do Not Disturb doesn't stop things from coming up, <laughs> whatever. All right, enters play. If you haven't received either accommodation or intervention, go to 44.1. Through the brush, you hear two people arguing at each other. One of you immediately one you immediately recognize as Cordo Haverson, but it takes a moment before you recognize the other as Spirit Speaker Null. You don't think you've heard her raise her voice before. You push forward and come across the two of them in the midst of a heated debate. Cordo's face is flush, and Null has her arms raised and is glaring, or crossed and is glaring. Although you're not sure what's going on, you feel like you should step in. If Null is not in play, search the path deck for her, put her into play in the same area as Cordo, do not read her entry. Then go to 45.4. Oh, choose the next card. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got we got everybody in play now. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're, we're cooking we're cooking with gas. We and we don't read her entry, right? Because they're fighting. Yeah, we're yeah. reading 45.4 though. You get between Man, I I mean, like, the, I have an ulterior motive here because, you know, I'm plugging the Living Valley to our listeners, but, like, it all being hyperlinked makes it yeah, so convenient. No, it's, I know, I, we're plugging it, but we're not, we're not, this was not in script. <laughs> it's actually really nice. <laughs> like, we have a script. Yeah. All right, you get between Nal and Cordo. I'm like, nah. I'm listening, but I'm also, like, reading this first speaker dress. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. You get between Nal and Cordo and ask them what they're arguing about. Cordo huffs. And then Nal rolls her eyes and turns to you. We have been debating this since Cordo and I first met, actually, she says. It's a question of our roles here, both as rangers and inhabitants of this valley. Don't make it too dramatic, Cordo grumbles. I just think that if we're gonna if we're gonna be proper stewards here, it's up to us to clean up our ancestors' mistakes. Biomelds aren't mistakes, Nal shoots back. They may have been created for a purpose thousands of years ago, but in the time since, they've evolved and become part of the ecosystem. They reproduce. They coexist, just like any other being. Oh, so you think that caustic mulcher that's been lumbering around the wooded area of the valley is coexisting with everything else here? Quarter looks at you. Maybe you can settle this. Nal thinks that big, sticky-tongued, acid-drooling eating machine is part of the environment. I, on the other hand... Think that it's been eating its way through the rest of the ecosystem and it's time to stop it. What do you think? He reaches into his pocket and pulls out a ball of cloth. You catch it and open it and find that it's actually a long and lethal looking gauze blade. Gain the gauze blade. Reward card. It pops up. Boom. Reward one. On the on, on Boom. the books. The easiest reward in the game, really. Shh. I feel like. Shh. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> Null size. Here it is. Well, if it's that important to be able to identify yourself to it, just like any other be. Uh, well, if it's that, if it's in. Sorry. Well, if it's 
important to be able to identify yourself to it just like any other being, she says. The caustic mulcher, like the other biomulch around here, is an important part of the ecosystem. I haven't observed a dramatic decrease in animal populations. Have you, Cordo? If the mulcher was a mistake, nature would have corrected it by now. It doesn't eat everything, only what it must. Cordo grunts. Ugh. You've already told me your plan to prove it. Coating yourself in leaf paste and seeing if the mulcher will eat you or spit you out? Sounds like a terrible idea. If I'm right, Nell says, then the mulcher won't eat living plants or something that tastes like one. It's not cutting a swath through the forest. It's helping manage it. Rangers choose. We can agree with Cordo. The mulcher must go. Or we can agree with Nall. The mulcher is misunderstood. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I mean, I feel like I'm a spirit speaker here and I, 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 I think... Biomelds or mistake? No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. no. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, no. I I would go with Nal. I think All right. personally. We uh, gained. What about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm with Nal for two reasons. One, I think, you know, I, I agree that like mm -hmm. biomelds are part of the ecosystem now. You know, like yeah. it's it's. But also, uh, I think that accommodation is the funnier mission to play on the uh, advanced playcast. Okay, so. okay. This is some, some knowledge here. Uh, Oops. Nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. Man, I'm like realizing some of the things. So like I built this deck and I obviously read a bunch of stuff and I know what my deck does because it's like, you know, about putting stuff on spirits and doing things. But I'm like, I'm still refreshing myself reading the spirit speaker test. And I'm like, oh, I could do that. Oh, I could do that. Of course, there's always so many things to do in this game. Like I'm like, mm -hmm. there's, I could be doing like cool spirit thing and setting that up. But I also am like, I could just hunt with Gordo or something, you know? There's always so many things to do. Yeah, I mean, okay, so we're gonna definitely gonna want to clear high. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we can clear these two while they're out here, but I yeah. think that we're probably only gonna be able to complete one of theirs. Yeah, and we gained accommodation, so it's like... Cordo's has the potential to get us more rewards, though. <laughs> well, also, I, you know, I, I, we could get rid of uh, Lutronol with Hunt. You know, it's already, it's already... Whoa, whoa, started. whoa. I thought we were going to accommodation here. What are you doing? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Okay, so round two. Attaching stuff to high is good. Clearing high is good. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, we don't need to search for much more stuff. We've basically found everything, so I think we're just on clearing stuff plan. Yeah. Uh, let me start us off with getting a boundary sensor equipped. Mm -hmm. I am fully geared up now. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I'm thinking here because I, I'm tempted to kind of move the spirit of the valley. Yeah, and you then, have to spirit speak to do that, though, right? Yeah, and then but then I can like commune with them and stuff. But then I could switch back somehow <laughs> at some point and connect with like high and stuff. Um, so maybe I should connect with high first. Um, yeah, and then I, I have um, I have a card to do a pretty big connection with one of these two. So why don't you start with high? Okay, I will do that. So I'm gonna do a connect test on high. Okay. So I'll take I'll take a fatigue from the spirit of the valley. Which, All right. it's no big deal. I'll, I'll <laughs> soothe it here. I'll, I'll soothe it here soon. Connect test. Yeah, but um, it still advances our timer. You're right. You're right. Um, and then I'm going to commit. Just trying to decide. I'll, I'll because we need to get rid of him. Wait, he only needs four. Yep. Oh, that's so not bad. Only two more. Um. I will. I'll, I'll, so I'll commit two with my. I'll go all in on that, and I'll okay. use enthusiastic. All right. What does that one do? Um. It's it's a new one, and so it uh, it says after you succeeded a test in which you committed this attribute, if your effort was three or more, which hopefully it remains that. Uh, I can move a being, so I could potentially. Oh, sweet! Be, yeah. All right, let's see. Hey. All right. Yes. Cool. So uh, th th these being so orange almost made me look at fitness. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> sorry. I have a few yellow ones, but not four, okay. unfortunately. Uh, All right. So uh, he clears. Yep. With uh, what, like five on him? I will move a being. I'm gonna move Spirit of the Valley up along the way because I can do stuff with that later. Um, and also, real quick, after um, you you succeed at a connect or commune test, 
you can soothe the fatigue with my heart harmonizer. So I'll use a song from my heart harmonizer and soothe the fatigue right away. So. All right. So we read 47. Mm -hmm. Well, Hai says in a way that makes it very clear he was waiting for you to ask. I'm tired of making my soup with the same pepper pods and northern potatoes that grow around these parts. I just remember how good it can be when some someone gets some of the herbs and tubers from elsewhere in the valley. He stares at you intently. I could use someone. Someone young, hardy, <laughs> and already hiking around the valley <laughs> to help me venture out. Hi, would like... I, I don't know why he slightly came on to you there. <laughs> He's, like really creep. He's like creepy in the, in the way that that one comes across. I just trying to do excited about soup. You know, I, it just came off as excited about his fellow rangers. Yeah, I mean, I love Hi. Don't get me wrong. Hi, would like to accompany you and have you help him... Uh, have you help complete his stew using flora cards gathered while not at Lone Tree? Rangers choose. Agree to help gather ingredients or not today. Uh... Well, we need to do it, right? Oh, yeah. We're, uh, we're helping high. Yeah, because because that's the whole point of us doing the harvest test. So, yes, we are agreeing. We're taking that off, and then we are attaching helping hand to him. Yes. Uh, so. He's persistent. Yep. So we're going to want to not be at Lone Tree when we complete 47, uh, complete ah, his stew. Yes, because he said tubers are around the valley, not at Lone Tree. Yep. And then uh, sun. So it rains on us, suffer another fatigue. Jeez. You know, I keep forgetting it's a downpour today. Um, you I don't move. have. All right, all, so you don't have anything yeah, there. Has progress. If there's another romping lutronol, we're good there. All right. Sweet. High down. All right, so then I will do some connection of my own here. Let's dodge the lutronol. I think... All right, I don't know how much meta knowledge I should use. I don't remember what Andrew and I agreed upon at the start of the uh, advanced playcast. But... I think it's like... We're allowed to use it so that because it is advanced, but we should be. No, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a long I time. think that to our goal, mm -hmm. we want some cordo. We want. <laughs> we want a taste of that cordo. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm wanna... playing the game so horny <laughs> today. Um, no, no. So I think we want I, some cordo. I, I think <laughs> cordo is going to be more. I think he's who we want to connect with here. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. So I'm doing that. I'm putting two from Sil's sketchbook. Yeah. Great card, but I'm already filled up on gear, so I'm uh, just going to commit four to connecting with Cordo. Nice. Five. Dang, he's like already there. I was going to say that part of why I was thinking about doing the hunt was because you get progress on him. I mean, we could get rid of the Lutronol. But... Oh, that's true. Okay. All right. Go ahead. No, I mean, you, I, can, you can hunt the Lutronol. It's fine. It, it, uh, you know, it rains on I us. Like Suffer another fatigue. It rains again. Did you already? Yeah, I already lowered it. Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, I looked at it like a dummy. I keep looking. I, I pulling uh, episode one and two Anders where he's like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, most of it you guys didn't even catch. I was like editing it. And, and I, I just hear Anders in the mic go, I keep looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the advanced playcast, Corey. Come on. Get I'm sorry. Together. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, you're up. All right, oh man, there's so many cool things I can do right now, and I'm having a hard time choosing. I think hunting with him to get the last uh, bit on bit yeah. on him yeah. and I also considered the high awareness test again because uh, I can get double reason on one of my personalities here. I, I, I think that hunts, yeah, that hunts pretty good. I think I think you were right. I, I gave you shit. Uh, Make fun was, of me. Yeah, I was not justified in that. But I can only go dry. I don't have any icons. Uh, to boost it. So, All right, so yeah, it, it's a bit of a risk. Yeah. Um, I could put a bunch of progress on Spirit of the Valley, which can do some cool stuff. That's true. Um, yeah, you actually play your, play your specialty, get that all charged up. Yeah, I could potentially... Yeah, there's a lot of awesome stuff on here. So it can... Yeah, you can move them from Spirit to Spirit. You can discard three from the Spirit to gain one energy of any type. And then also you may uh, discard... And that would work for you too, because it's, it's along yep. the way now. To scout a challenge uh, and then card. You made a, yeah, scout a challenge card. And then there's other things I can do. Like I can, um, uh, if spirits have progress on them, I can do other things. So. All right. Not to, I, I apologize for quarterbacking you slightly, but yeah. you could you could hunt with your fitness, then spirit speak with your awareness, and then yeah. spend the rest of your focus to charge them up. That's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, yeah. But I have to go in and just two even and just hope mm -hmm. for that. I could 
put a bunch of progress on this and hope I get the scout path card or a challenge card, I guess. Mm -hmm. but, but I don't know. Ah, this is tough. All right. You know what? Let's do it. I'm a gambler. Let's just go into. All right. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> There's, there's no fail effect. There's no there's fail no effect. effect. Uh, but there's a crest. There's a crest. Um, no tokens on there. So should, it literally should have done the exact way that we I, I just said, which is put progress on this, because then I would have... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. But no active predator at the moment. Yeah, we're so. good. We're safe. Well, sorry. I couldn't hunt. That's okay. I'll, I, I might be able to give it a try. Cordo gave me the bow and was like giving me tips. <laughs> and I just... I was holding the bow backwards. I like, <laughs> shot the arrow. You were holding the string and yeah, he looked pulling away, back the. And I l l hit a arrow right into Lone Tree. Okay, I'm going to. I'm still gonna do what I was gonna do. I think for the rest of that. I'm gonna try High's Harvest Test with one awareness and then one from the. F oh no, Field Journal's just a. Feature. Can't use it on high. Hmm. I could get another awareness with that, but that requires me to traverse something. I could traverse the kelp weed, but then I might accidentally clear it. Hmm. I'm gonna. Ooh, I already got three fatigue. Dodge the Lutrinol. Eh, hey, let's let's do it. I'll um, <laughs> suffer fatigue from the Lutrinol to do the hunt test on Cordo. I'm also just doing it too. All right, let's see if I'm making a mistake mm. here. Oh, oh my gosh! Ah. Oh my gosh! Uh, this is a mess. All right, at least it's again. We're no good. nothing. No other active predator. If there's a wrong Lutrinol. Uh, exhaust it, right or no? It just moves along the way. No, it just moves up there. So it could end up pouncing back on us. That's okay right now. We'll be, we'll deal with it later. Man, that's go ahead. smelly. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do the cool thing that I can do. Um, so my roll has exhaust, and I can spend one energy. I'll spend my awareness to spirit speak. And so I swap my common tests card out with a spirit speaker tests card. So now I'm spirit speaking. Uh, and I'm going to do a commune test. One second. That's my mic. Is it moving around? Yeah, looks fine. Okay. okay. Pointing up over your left shoulder. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to do the commune test. Um, it's a bummer that this isn't unexhausted because that would be actually really handy. Um, but, uh, so, commune lets me uh, commune with an interdimensional being to add two progress to a spirit for every effort. So I just dump effort onto this. X is equal to the presence, so I just need to beat one of the Spirit of the Valley. Yep. So these are friendly, so I don't have to worry about them. And it is focus. I'm just gonna go all in. Three? Yeah, okay. and then I think, yeah, I mean, why not? Right? Just three? Let's just do it. All right, plus one. Hey, so I get to put four progress on Spirit of the Valley, which mm -hmm. is awesome. Wait, what? read it again. Oh, eight progress. Oh, oh yeah. Jeez, this is so cool. Uh, man. Oh yeah, Spirit of the Valley is gonna do some stuff for us. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be sweet. All right. Uh, and then it's sun effects. So rains on us one more time. One more time, man. You're right. I. I'm a smelly. <laughs> um, boy. but then you can, if you want, you could trigger that. Yeah, you may move up to four progress from the spirit to another spirit in the same area. Oh, I, no other spirits. There is another spirit. No other romping lutrinols. No other suns. Yeah, but. Other effects on this card do some pretty cool stuff, and I can do some other things with spirits with high progress if I draw them. And <laughs> I, I don't know as well what I'm doing uh, as like you were to view at this. Oh no, it's fine. All right, yeah, gathering storm. So right. we're gathering storm now. I don't think I bowl. So we don't. Ha it's not raining anymore, mm -hmm. and like right now with just the one romping lutrinol, mm -hmm. um, we don't actually have that many threats. Yeah. So I could just blind fire and pray for a plus one on the harvest test. Yeah, I wish we got a crest because then we get the scout a challenge card. Yeah, well, I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm going to do it. And I'm going to end with two for the field journal. Oh, so man. I'm just going to go one. Look, hunting for the plus one. Oh. Ah, yeah! Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, man. That's... Oh, we get the Scudder Challenge card. That feels really good. Oh, yeah. All right. So, we got the second bit of stew. Yeah, we got the second bit of stew. We need three, right? Yeah. On him. And then, uh... we've got Crest. So... No other active la romping Lutronals. And discard two progress to scout. Well, wait, hang on. We don't, we might not actually, I don't think we want to do that. Unfortunately, it's about to reshuffle. Oh, it's about to reshuffle. So it's a May effect, so May. we can just save it. I'll save it, I'll save it. Um, Ooh, actually though, ouch. Hi gets a little nibbled on if there's an by a Lutronal. Oh, it's not, it's not like in the same area, that's right. It's yeah. just active. And uh, we could heal him with some kelp weed, but we just threw it in his stew. It's okay. It, the neutral is. Uh, I, we can get rid of it here soon. All right, back to you. All right. Um. Well, I'm out of stuff. <laughs> like I have nothing. So uh, I am gonna rest. I'm gonna rest. All right. Me too. I get to add two to my field journal. And new round. All right. I am no longer spirit speaking. It's just constantly someone comes every every round just taps me on the shoulder. Oh, I got the hanging gardens. Uh soothe a bunch of fatigue here. That's nice. That is nice. I also can soothe fatigue. Uh I just need to move spirits around. Five meters above the ground, you step out of the doorway leading into the trunk of Lone Tree and onto a wildly swinging catwalk of boards and rope. You keep a firm grip as you make your way to the massive boxes, each as, each as large as a flat boat and overflowing with plants that hang from the tree's thick branches. As the wind shifts, you can catch the heady aroma of blooming flowers and ripe vegetables. Mm. That smells nice. We could throw this in his stew too, but that would <laughs> uh, we need to get out of here before we do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think we just eat these for ourselves. That sounds nice. Did you draw a card? Oh, no. And I also... I'm so... And then, uh... I've played so much solo, I just, I, um... Oh, no, it's okay. And, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying to keep us moving at a clip for the yeah. for the recording and stuff. No, no, you're doing good. You're doing good. All right, uh, then a path card? Yeah. Which you certainly are... at this point has to be a Lutronol. You just do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lutronol Holt. Oh, okay, that's bad. It's, yeah, I, have, uh, I haven't seen this one in a while. Um, Coax. The Lutronals back to their lair to add more Lutronal to this feature. The big issue is just the mountain effect will spawn more Lutronals. Mm. But then we can put them back in this little hole, though, right? Clear with we can. We can, like, lure them back in. But yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that for us right now. Oh, yeah? Okay, let's see. Let's see what you got. All right. I'm going to dodge the Hanging Gardens, put three towards traversing it, put four towards traversing it, and you know what? I'm going to put... Five towards traversing it, just nice. to be safe. Let's see. Oh yeah. So we just clear it. Heck yeah. Clear with progress. Shuffle. Oh, maybe I. Maybe we should have coaxed. Maybe we should have lured this guy away. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. I, I just wanted to get we, rid of it. We, we still could. We, you know what? Now we have fitness back. We can hunt again. Oh, and gathering storm got two tokens at the turn of the round. Oh, that's right. Um. So we've got a mountain. No other uh, active predator. Mm-hmm. Do you want to... Oh, I, I... That's yours. I may. It's your choice. I mean, you can do it. Go for it. Anything you want. Honestly, I think we're good, right? I mean, it's an energy. Can, can you can you, you hunt? Could, are you going to be able to hunt this turn? I don't have any combat. Oh, uh, conflict? Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah sorry, con uh, conflict. But I just um, used all my fitness. Eh, I can just connect with him, too. I think I'm going to... Let, let's save that for a different round. Okay. I mean, that's the nice thing is, is like, we can... Pull stuff off of it before we leave, right? Oh, Although but it's then, persistent. Uh, it's persistent, right? So we can keep it out there with all that progress on it. Uh, yep. That's oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I for later. Fully grasp that this is just going to hang out with us all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's 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 awesome. Unfortunately, high ate a bunch of our hanging garden fruit. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, we don't want him to clear <laughs> yet. Um, we get we got to get out of here before that happens. Um, what do you think I should do? Um, clearing Cordo would be a good idea. Yeah, getting on topside mast would also be a good idea. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I think we want to try to. I think we want to leave today. All right, I'm gonna connect to Cordo. I'm just gonna go in with two. All right. Um, 
You're not gonna try, try to hunt. You're not gonna try to hunt the Lutron again. I'm tempted, but I I have to go in like clean. You know what I mean? Just too even. And I mean, it went bad twice already. Surely this time. I mean, th- don't let me. You do you. Do whatever you want. I mean, he only, he adds only one harm to it though, right? So it's like that for every two efforts. So you need four. Oh, for every two. Yeah. yeah so, so I can't even. Do might as well connect. Yeah. Just connect. I'm gonna connect. So I'm gonna connect with Cordo. Um, I just need one, right? And he's a two, so. I'll throw in an ingenious just for an extra heart. So it's three. All right. Zero. So uh, he gets my brain is bad. Three. Um, so yeah, three and two just for now. Um, yeah. I'm not, and I wasn't going to do this effect. You know, Cordo says a sly smile crossing his weather beaten features. Now that you're no longer in training, Elder Thrush can't stop you from coming on a hunt with me on account of it being too dangerous. <laughs> Up in the northern woods, the ones in the mountains beyond the valley, there's something up there that's been evading every snare, and I've lost every time I've tried to follow it. To this day, I haven't spotted more than a shadow in the trees. He sticks out his hand. What do you say, fellows? Want to head up north with me and help me catch my greatest quarry? Rangers choose a company Cordo to the Northern Outpost or some other time. I mean, we're going to do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm curious. I'm in help everybody mode. It's boys day because now, now, now this is in the other direction. So boys <laughs> day. <laughs> Hi and Cordo and you and me. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole party. Yeah. Real quick because... Normally, I can walk around and like spy at the cameras. I'm gonna do one. You wanna you know, pause for a yeah, second? Let's pause for just to make sure moment, we're recording. And I will be immediately back in my seat. All right, so All right. I, fixed, I checked everything, we're good. So um, we finished resolving the sun. I think we're still no other spirit to move it to, mm-hmm. no other romping loot and all. Let's shuffle, and you can go ahead. Yeah, and also, real quick, after you succeeded a connect or a commune test, sue the fatigue. I do, or you do? Uh, that was your test or mine? That was mine. That was mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, you, you went around and checked the cameras. It threw me off. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's handy. Okay. All right, so... We've got Helping Hand on High. We've got Helping Hand on Cordo. Topside Mast? Yeah. All right, I'm going to convince the crew of our the, the urgency of our mission... I'm just going to spend the two charges from my field journal here for four total. Yeah, where are we heading in Northern Outpost, by the way? Definitely. Yeah. All right, I'm on there. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, we didn't bring minis. Oh, no, my minis are at home here. Uh, Ranger Token. I think I have, like, the original factory ones, but I'm not going to get up again. I have, I have the, <laughs> yeah, I have the ones that Sam painted. Uh, yeah. And they, they look really nice, but I forgot. I wish I had some meat. <laughs> Soon. Soon. I'm, I'm excited for the meeples. All right. Crest. No other active lo- romping Lutrinol. Do you want to scout that challenge card for I two? I do. Let's All do right. it. Like, technically, I do it, but... Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. All right. So you are about to convince the crew, probably, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So zero focus. I mean, I can just go in with all three, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm cool with that. All right. I'd rather that than a minus two or a minus one pop up. And we're gonna clear before the Lutrinol bites Nala yeah. Cordo. So I think we're good. We're good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Keep that on top. Put it on top. We go down. Uh, High's exhausted, luckily, so his mm-hmm. crest doesn't go off. And that's my turn. Go ahead. Nice. All right. Well, I mean, I don't, I'm gonna do exactly what we just said. I'm going to. Convince the Swift's crew of the urgency of my of our mission. I'm just going to go in with three even, and who would you look at that? It's a hey, zero. Who would have thought? All right, uh, you climb on board. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let me put my little my little teal. Teal. All right, and we clear with Ranger tokens. Mm-hmm. You climb aboard as Benamon himself emerges from the hangar and hops into the pilot seat. Strap in, he says, lowering a pair of goggles over his eyes. I heard that you made quite the case to the crew. 
Honestly, though, he says with a smile, I never need much of an excuse to take the Swift out for a walk. There's nothing in this world like flying, you'll see. With that, Benamon flips a series of switches and you feel the Swift come to life. You may immediately proceed to the travel phase of the round. If you do, you can travel to any location within three paths. Use the terrain type of the last path you crossed over. If you choose to travel in this way, discard the current challenge card and do not resolve the remainder of this test. If you choose not to travel, discard topside mask. We're traveling. Yeah. All right. Cool beans. So we're up. It's up to three. So we're just going to go to Northern Outpost. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. Porto. So high sticks around. Hanging. Oh, maybe we should have sued fatigue before we left. Oops. Oh, it's okay. I, I have some other things. I, I can I can sue this some fatigue. Sorry, Nal. We're leaving you behind today. Goodbye. Apologies. Topside Mast and Lutronol. These two stick around. I'll shuffle this um, challenge deck because it's shuffle time. We have drawn, like, if we had, what is it, Stave of the, Stave of the Sun? I think oh, yeah, it is. yeah. We would, yeah, we'd we'd be so charged up right now. Yeah, when I was running demos at PAX, I swear there was like one table that was like every single. Turn. They were like getting a glint on that thing. Uh -huh. It's a good. It's a good one for demos because whoever has it, it's like all pumped that they have a bunch of these tokens. They don't know what to do with. I see. I was running a demo with it, and I like never shuffled the challenge deck. <laughs> the all four were at the very bottom, and this person is like, "This staff is awful." <laughs> and you're like, "No, it's not." It's, it's like, like it's actually pretty good. It's really good. It's like one of the best solo ones. But I'm a three focus shaper in my normal one. I'm going the weird route. All right, Northern Outpost. We finally reached Northern Outpost. If you fixed it up, uh, nope, otherwise read. Mm -mm. Scraps of wood, cloth, leather, and paneling lie scattered around the exterior. After long years of neglect, the forest around seems to press in on the outpost from all sides. Search the Northern Outpost set for the deep woods and put it into play. Of course. Of course. And then we gotta read that. Uh, if it gets put into play by the campaign guide, you don't need oh, to. Oh, it doesn't? No. Oh, okay. Um, if you haven't gained or completed the Search Lund mission, read the following. You find a note tacked to the door. It reads, I went to go investigate a strange presence in the forest. Be back by the full moon. If I'm not... I'm probably in trouble. <laughs> Signed, Lun. <laughs> you step inside, but it's deserted. The note said Lun should have been back days ago. Sounds like he probably needs help. All right, we can choose. Look for Lun or not today. So, okay. This is actually... Like, we probably want to help Lun. Mm -hmm. Of course we want to help Lun. He's our fellow ranger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the search mission... Causes us fatigue on every crest. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we have a downpour today on top of that. Yeah, which just ticked over. Yeah, that's right. I totally. I, I should be helping you with this. Um, so, <sighs> I feel like Oba Boba would never live it down. <laughs> Let us I mean, live it down. If, this, uh, this is the advanced. He would be like, guys, it's the advanced. Like, yeah, you can't and you take didn't a, save Lun. You can't take a little fatigue. Oh, do we? It starts a new round, right? Yeah, yeah. Let, yep, me, let me travel. Yeah. I think we we have we can't say no to helping so we Lun, draw, right? We draw a card. Uh, we can't. We, this is the advanced playcast. We gotta take we gotta take fatigue till we pass out. It's all, we're clowns. We're just a bunch of clowns for the audience. But we're on, like, we are, things are going golden for us to get a bunch of reward cards today. And True. this is like, this is like, this is the straw that like tips, you know, breaks the camel's yeah, back yeah. and leads to us just failing completely. No, I mean, you are right. There, there's a chance. Uh, all right, Lon, we're coming. We're going to do it. <laughs> Andrew's going to be like, what did you guys do here? <laughs> I mean, well, the funniest thing about this is it, I can imagine Andrew being either way on this. Like, yeah, that's like, true. Like being like, oh, no, you he's, guys. he's gonna want us to have. Saved, he's gonna <laughs> yeah. want us to have saved one. And also, the threat of the double 
the double icon uh, fatigue is 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 real. So. Oh man, this is brutal. This is brutal. All right. I mean, we just got to do a couple missions, Fisher. Come on. <laughs> we we went from. We had zero missions basically at the start of today, and we have three now. Yeah. Well, I I have immediately a use for a card in my hand to put on the deep woods because I can do the trail goes ever on. Also, um, all right. So, one is missing. Unfortunately, we're at a ranger station, so this this mission basically, besides the fatigue, doesn't come into play because we're not getting trail tokens. Yeah. But there is a caustic mulcher in here, so if we can find it. We can do accommodation. Yep. Because we're in the woods. Because you do the last path you were on with the swift. Mm hmm. There's nothing, there's nothing we need to read, right? Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, well, right off the bat, before we any of us suffer fatigue, well, actually, sorry, I, I, I don't exhaust stuff, I forgot. Um, I'm going to... Well, uh, so we need to set up. Oh, we got so to set up. To draw, so I, I'm going to draw... I mean, that... I, I, don't, I don't remember if I shuffled. I thought you did. Did I? I thought so, but now I'm like... Yeah, because I can say that, that was like exactly what we needed. <laughs> and now... And now. I, I maybe didn't shuffle. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'd rather us. We're, we're this is advanced play cast. <laughs> well, I'm gonna watch it back, and I'm totally gonna have shuffled, and I just ruined like the best the, luck. The piece there was, yeah. If and you know what, maybe okay. I'm okay. I was really hoping that you wouldn't draw it again. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I maybe I just made things way harder for us, but I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't remember if I'd shuffled or not. It's okay. It's All right, okay. Draw, draw I, a card. I wasn't paying attention as much as I should have. <gasps> Ah! Yay! It's the same card. A trick of the light. Uh, oh man. And like, we're also just reading all of the entries. This is this wild. time. Yeah. Like, and which is really too bad because, like, I for some reason left the Living Valley. I don't know why I did that. How dare. Um. And like, I really wish Andrew was the one reading all these entries because mm -hmm. he's got the narrator voice. I mean, I can I can do some reading if you'd like. Do Do you want to switch off? I'm happy to. Right. You want me to use your phone, or I guess my phone's filming. That's fine. Um. All right. Trick of the light enters play. We have uh, not. We've not done a... anything. If you. So we we have not met an interloper. Oh yeah. So thirty nine point two. Yeah. 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 All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, you see a dark shadow moving through the trees. You freeze, trying to get a better look at it. The shape seems humanoid, but taller than you, with a slightly forward-sloping posture. It steps into the light for a moment, and you catch a glimpse of a being covered in long fur. Then it steps behind a tree and vanishes. You hurry to the spot where you last saw it, but find nothing. You will have to clear a trick of the light with progress to track down the mysterious figure. Go to 39.3. Ooh, yeah, okay, this is the thing that I have, in, uh, okay. Uh, it, it says, read one, if Cordo is in play, which he is, <clears throat> Cordo's eyes light up and, the, and he moves off toward the being. He pauses at the tree, then points to where a small branch has been half broken. Beyond that, some blades of grass have been bent over. Without a word, Cordo slinks off through the brush, beckoning you to follow. Add five progress to the trick of the light. Damn. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. It's all coming up Millhouse today. <laughs> all right. I know so, it's not Millhouse. I know, I know. Yeah, you're going to get roasted in the comments for that one. All right. So we've, we've, we've done all our setup. Hell yeah. Now we have to start the round. Mm hmm. I got a buck. Oh, and um, we've got some neglect on the left. Oh, wait. The Deep Woods is a flora? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Oh, because I, I was gonna say it's, we couldn't have drawn it up better. I was gonna say I was gonna put like a uh, the trail goes ever on on that, but I'm like I don't need to. Yeah, so you have to draw one more for our setup. Yes, yes. Thank you. So much happening. Ooh, Sunbury Bramby. All right, so we are set up. Mm -hmm. You drew your card. Yeah, we got all our energy. Um, We've traveled. I do have something I want to do right off the bat. Yep. That's okay. I'm gonna pay one fitness to put the trail goes ever on on the trick of the light. 
And its whole thing, it's a tail spinner card. Mm -hmm. You attach it to a location or a feature. And when you play it on a feature, you may move that feature. I'm not going to, probably. Yeah. But it says, after a ranger suffers one or more fatigue, add progress to the attached card equal to the number of fat fatigue suffered. So just like going through the bramble. Okay. Doing anything. Like literally anything. Um, All right, that's sweet. Though uh, I will say, I guess before you do that, okay, okay. I'll say... Give me some thinks. I could maybe just first thing just clear that because I'm really worried about... I really don't want to draw a sun and lose this, right? True. Uh, so yeah, if there's an odd number, that's right, and there is an odd number. And so like I don't, I don't want to dr draw a sun and just lose this. So I, I think the very, you, the very first thing we do is just clear this. That's no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, we could end up triggering the deep woods predator. Mm -hmm. So like we kind of have to choose. But I would rather have an extra predator than lose trick of the light right now. Yeah. No. Let me, let me think about this because I might have something else. I could. Oh wait, that's the wrong. Yeah, that's my fatigue stat. <laughs> Advanced play cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bad thing is I always set my hand down sideways when I'm playing card yeah. games. Uh, all right, you know, you're, you're good. Um, if you're okay with that. No, please do. That okay. actually is great. All right, like, I'll dodge, oh, wrong card. I'll dodge the buck to traverse the trick of the light. I'll spend a boundary sensor. I'll spend all three of these. So I'm putting four on it. I think we should be pretty safe with four, right? I think so. As long as you can get an even number on there. A, A plus one. Uh, we nice. are going to get that predator, but I think it was worth it. The yeah. risk of losing that was too high. All right, so we clear it. Yep. We go to 39. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> You move through the trees, not sure if you're actually following something. You're not even sure you really saw a being at all. You look for tracks, signs of passage, anything to guide your way. Then suddenly, you come around a tree and find yourself face to face with a tall, furry humanoid with features that seem to be a blend between human and something else. You've heard stories of the Yeti before, but you've thought, but you thought they were just that, stories. You look at the Yeti for a long moment and it looks back at you. Its eyes meet yours, and you feel oddly at peace, as if you and this yeti share an ancient kinship. You begin to speak, and in response, it, rubbles in, it rumbles in a low, somehow non-threatening manner. Then it steps back, and slips behind a tree. You move to follow, but it's no longer there. Something glints on the ground, however, right where the... Something glints on the ground, however, right where the being had been standing. Gain the translate translocator reward card and write met an interloper on the campaign tracker and there's more uh but i'll let you catch up <clears throat> no it's fine keep going if cordo ranger veteran is in play go to 39.6 oh man there's so much to this this is awesome at your side cordo breathes out slowly well i'll be planted come on then let's keep after it Cordo quickly spots wisps of fur, small impressions in the ground, bent grass, and other signs of passage. He leads you on a rapid chase through the trees, pointing out each sign as he passes. After a long five minutes of running through the forest, the Yeti stops on the far side of a small clearing. Cordo stops next to you and holds out his hands. Wait, wait, we mean you no harm. The Yeti looks at you for, for all but a moment. Uh, wait, the, the Yeti looks at you all for a moment. The Yeti looks at you all for a moment but especially at Cordo. Then slowly and deliberately, it nods. It takes a small uh, silver ovoid from somewhere and sets it on the loam. Then without any fuss, it fades into nothingness and disappears. Cordo stands unmoving, a smile as wide as the valley on his face and tears of joy in his eyes. Later that day, Cordo finishes packing his bag. I'm headed back to Lone Tree. Thank you for this. I won't forget it. You clasp his shoulder and say farewell. He saunters down the trail, whistling a jaunty tune. One minute. Hi, it doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Discard Cordo. Return helping hand to the collection. Gain Cordo's instinct reward card. Write, found Cordo's quarry on the campaign tracker. All right. Oh, man. Double rewards. <laughs> yeah. Double. Double them up. Uh All right, Ooh. so uh, we're at three rewards today. 
Our, our, our goal, our advanced playcast goal for the day was to earn as many rewards yeah. as possible. And now we just injure out and we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. We have more. <laughs> um, all right. So we resolve then uh, the mountain. Yes. Do uh, you may discard three from the spirit to gain one energy. That's you. Yeah. Um, I mean, that could be handy. Yeah, something. this deep woods, woods is going to be nasty. Well, so we need you need awareness to harvest. Uh, did, are you going to harvest or I, I guess either I can. one of us can? But if you get a second awareness, it'll probably be easier for you. Yeah, so spend that three. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Sorry, I should have done that. Um, then exhaust this feature. Search for the next predator and put it into play. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that prowling wound. Um, then Dang. we go to <laughs> mountains here. Yeah, um, um, we, and, I'm getting nervous for you over there. No, it's uh, fine, because okay. this wolf is going to eat this doe. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's also the buck can attack the... Uh, um, that's true. So I guess, do we want it... So we get to choose, basically. Do we want the prowling one to fight the buck or the doe? So the nice thing is the buck could injure me. So killing the doe means the buck is no longer aggressive. Um, the buck will do some damage to the wool and won't kill it, but then they'll both be still be around. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. I would probably do the doe. All right, nature, you know, nature's wild. Yeah. You, you ever watch Planet Earth and just be like, Jesus. <laughs> that like, holy moly. You yeah, know? we're just watching that wool and we're like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my so God. majestic yet <laughs> so, so vicious. The power. <laughs> the power. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's my turn. Go ahead. No, my partner and I tried to I tried to watch Planet Earth with her, and she is not she she's she appreciates it, but she's like that bird just like broke that other bird's <laughs> eggs on purpose, like you know, like just like messed up stuff. Well, and then you got the photographer just watching it, <laughs> yeah, right? just like letting it happen. Yeah, it's it's wild. Um, that's why they call it the wild. Um, well, dang. So the deep woods is exhausted. Yep. So that's handy, but um, I mean, it's still it's going to be eight. Yeah, you can do so, the thing, and I, I can... just used all of my fitness to get rid of the trick of the light. So mm -hmm. we've got we've got our work cut out for us on this one. Though we can, uh, so if you well, read it, we but... can put our ranger token on here mm -hmm. and hide, and then whenever beings would fatigue us, instead we just damage the deep woods. So that's probably the better way to deal with it. True, but you can also harvest that. Oh, that's right. That's that right. was the plan. We could do Bramble, I know, but I feel like that, no, you're that's totally... just like, that's like a free remove. I mean, actually, Hype and Pot for like some flora, like obstacles. Yeah. <laughs> like Get really the Carnivorous good. Naiad in there. Yeah, yeah just whatever. Hype and Pot's cooking up the world. I mean, that's part, part of the intention with these, like, you know, obviously getting Helping Hand to bring them along yeah. is useful for unlocking their side activities and stuff. But most of them are designed to be to give you powers that your deck might not necessarily yeah, have, yeah. right? And and so like they're designed to be kind of powerful. So even after you complete their missions, you can go back, yeah, get them, get put a helping hand on them, even though you know there's no reward card, but you can mm -hmm. just have it and like take them with you as like a temporary as power. Part up. of your deck. Yeah, yeah kind of. Day. I was gonna say, I love what I love about this high pin pot thing is it feels like we're playing Katamari. <laughs> And he's you like know? rolling up all the <laughs> yeah, there's like flora. Roll, there's like a cow on there, you know, like a <laughs> naiad, you know, whatever we want. It's pretty great. I um, think it's all kelp weed at the moment, but true, true. But it's you know. All right, all you're right. Up. I'm trying to decide what I want to do because there's plenty. I could pluck some bramble. Yeah, honestly. we're both pretty fatigued right now. Yeah, and it's what awareness reason. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pluck some bramble, and I'm gonna. Um, I need to do two to succeed. I can do ingenious. I can suffer a fatigue <laughs> to give it an extra reason. But then I'm like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, look at all that. Look at all We're that. We're only suffering fatigue on two I'm suffering of the fatigue three. to soothe fatigue. I'm just drawing a card at this point. Uh, so it's got two. So that's three. Um, minus, I'm really glad that I did that because yeah. I, I succeed. Um, so we put one harm on it. Yeah. And then I soothe two fatigue. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted too. So All right, that's good. good. Well, it does rain on us, so suffer another. Yeah, no, smelly. Um, um, you can move it. You still don't have another spirit in play. Oh yeah, yeah. No other suns though. Yeah. I well, I'm gonna. I will have a spirit in the same area. Okay. I'm just making sure I know what I got to do here. Um. Interesting. Okay.
Do we want to fix up this location? I actually legitimately don't remember what that gives you. Um, it soothes some fatigue that I remember, and then also I think it you don't draw deep woods in the future when you come. Yeah, back. you're right. Okay. Uh, so, I, it does, I think it soothes like a lot. It's like three fatigue. No, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's. I, I think it lets you even put cards back in your deck or something. Yeah, it's like it's like recursion. But, uh, it's it's good. It does it give us reward cards. Is that like? No, no, no. Today we're on the get as many reward cards as possible yeah, by like, the end of the day. Look, Lon, we're already gonna save you. <laughs> like we're not gonna clean up your mess on top of that. Okay, bud. We got a lot going on. Yeah, we got a lot going on today. Okay, uh, so you did that. Yes. I think, ugh. so I can just do his harvest test straight up. Yeah, do you, do you, don't, have, have. you don't got reason? No. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, there's some in my deck somewhere, but. Well, if only we could get a dang crest, you know? Scout, up. Well, can I scout? I can't scout challenge cards with this, can I? I could try to eat some Sunbury Bramble to soothe some fatigue, but I think I'd rather just do this straight up and hope. Yeah. We got two minus ones already in the discard. All right, going yeah. to. Sweet. Hey! Oh All man, right. that's clean. So, uh, so <laughs> the deep wood, the entire, entire deep woods. <laughs> just, just shave it down with chainsaws <laughs> and put it in the, put it in the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the pot. Oh my gosh! All right, I, we are going to forty-seven point four. Yeah. Um, if you are not at Lone Tree Station, go to forty-seven point five. Oh man! Why don't you give us a read there? <clears throat> yeah. You're heading along the trail when High Pimpot suddenly shouts, STOP! You look around, worried you're about to stumble into a puffer crawler, but instead you see High scrambling with his oversized pack, pulling out his portable soul coil and pot. Get me water, he shouts as he pulls some leaves from a bush along the trail. This needs to go into the pot immediately. And the rest of the ingredients have aged perfectly. <laughs> Three dots. <laughs> Uh, just perfect. <laughs> yeah, it should, all that kelp weed and the deep yeah. woods. It says some leaves. It should say he pulls the whole forest from the bush. <laughs> and, um, you watch, uproots trees. <laughs> you watch in bemused amusement as he dashes around the impromptu outdoor kitchen, dicing, slicing, mashing, frying, and at one point smoking the, <laughs> the varied ingredients you and he worked so hard to gather. Finally, he raises his head from the streaming pot, the steaming pot. It's, he says, his voice is quavering, quavering, just try it. You gather around the pot, dipping your spoons into the fragrant broth. It is quite simply the best soup and possibly the best food you've ever had. The complex flavors blend perfectly, rich but not overpowering, fresh but hearty, warm and soothing, yet light and effervescent. Your only regret as you set down your spoon and realize the pot is empty is that you may never taste something quite that good again. High has a... Uh, Actually, is that beatific? Uh, High has a beautific smile on his oh, face. Got, is that is supposed to be you there? That's mm. called that? Oh, that might be. Oh. Or beatific? I okay. Beatific. We'll have to look that up. We'll look it up. Yeah. Um, it might be a note. <clears throat> um, uh, High has a beatific smile on his face. The best it's ever been. He says. You all sit in contented silence for a while, before you get up the courage to ask High exactly how he made the soup. The master chef nods. I'll tell you the recipe, he says, as long as you promise to remember it and practice it. Someday I want you to serve me something even better than this. Discard each flora attached to high. Each ranger suits for fatigue. Dang. Uh, dang. And then gain the high pimpot's secret recipe reward card. Discard high pimpot and return helping hand to the collection. Oh my gosh. All right. Four. That's all. Oh my gosh. That's, that's sick. I have so much power. Infinite hand size in this game. Um, and you don't mark anything down. I think you just, yeah. Wild. All right. And then these just go to the discard. Yep. And then we do suns. So it does rain on us again. So suffer another fatigue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just replacing the fatigue I just drew. Yeah. Uh, uh, not doing that one. No other Sitka bucks at the moment. Nice. All right. Man, that is wild. We're at four. Reward cards. You're up. I guess we gotta look for Lun, right? That's just like... Well, we can't at a ranger station, so yeah, we'll want we to start traveling leave. away. So the question is, mm -hmm. do we want to try to find the mulcher while we're here? Mm, while we have some woods and stuff? Or do we want to 
focus on hiking away. Uh, pull up the map real quick because I, I just need to see it. I don't have it memorized as you do. I mean, the only way that we'd keep woods is to go to Golden Shore. Yeah. I mean, they did tell us to go clean up the flooded mess. So that is one of the places we could go clean up the debris from the yeah. flood. We Also, another one of those game knowledge things is that we're looking for Lun, right? And we're going to want features. We could go to Aatrox Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That we'll be going via woods, so... We keep uh, the mulcher, though. We need the mulcher, too. Yeah, that's true. But well, I, I, I see what you're saying. We're not getting I think it goes. Yeah, stuff, it goes and fetches, stuff. like, obstacles or something. And I don't know how many are actually in the woods. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But anyway, we probably want to go back that direction because we eventually need to end up at Spire. Then we yeah. could go... We could go... We haven't really been to the Fractured Wall yet, I think. So, like, that we could go fun. via Mount Nim. It's a lot of mountains. So, so my thought is, let's get the mulcher here and then go look for Lun... Towards Mountain Inn. Okay. Deal. Uh, yeah. When I played solo, I was stuck here with the Vulture outside. <laughs> That's right. And, you were like stuck inside Northern was, Outpost. It was so... I could not do anything. And so I just tidied up and then looked back outside and it was still there. <laughs> and so I just ended the day. Just, just like rearranged yeah. some stuff. It was then... like an Over the Garden Wall episode. It's just like there's a monster <laughs> outside. So we just stay in and tidy. And That's little, awesome. Like, uh, yeah. It was good. Oh man, this is good. I got a good setup here. Um, I'm going to. Hmm. Kitty. Second here. Oh, this is okay. I'm just now looking at. So, Lutronol Spirit and Atrox Spirit are both great, but one. Lutronol Spirit would have been really handy back oh, yeah. where we were. Because a Lutronol abilities plus it moves stuff to beings. Um, but I'm going to play Aatrox Spirit because we we're going to need stuff for features at some point. So uh, I'm playing Aatrox Spirit. And uh, it helps when there's Aatrox around, which will be handy when we get to the mountains. But also, um, I can use him to pull... If I, he's got progress on him, I can move it to features. Sweet. So he can clear yeah, some that's stuff gonna be... for us. Yeah. Which are actually really good with Lun. Because we can clear a bunch of features quickly. Cool. So. All right. Um, I'm going to equip a reverb locket. Um, so I think I'm going to discard this field journal. Uh, it served me well, but I'm going to... I really want this reverb locket out. So I'm going to equip this reverb locket with perfect recall attached to it. Nice. That's going to be sweet for getting rid of this fatigue, too. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna load. I'm just gonna set up my board at this point. I think is kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, get geared up. I'm gonna spend two and play uh, the stout-hearted ranger attached to a ranger's roll. And it, uh, after uh, after you exhaust your roll, I can soothe the fatigue. So when I spirit speak, I can soothe the fatigue. And when you would discard your fatigue stack due to an injury, I can discard this instead. Oh, that's sweet. So that's gonna be handy. But it's a tail. So when I get my little ocarina out, I can also shut off my spirit speaking. So it's gonna make stuff a little more flexible. All right, I'm going to use the reverb locket, one of the echoes on it, to play Perfect Recall, to recall Eagle Eye. So I play two moments, I get to soothe two fatigue. And so find that Mulcher. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna scout three cards. There it is. Hey. Okay, Prowling Wool Hunt, bottom for sure. I think we probably keep the Bramble up top because yeah, it's easier. it's easy. Do we want to draw the Mulcher now or I think in a second when we turn over the turn? Uh, I mean, I'm just going to be playing cards mostly, so I think it's fine if it, we draw it now. All right. But at this, it, yeah, yeah, let's draw it now. Putting those two on top. Wolf on the, Wool Hunt on the bottom. And the Mulcher's here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we actually, we want to get grabbed by it, right? Because we both... So, accommodation says when one of our ranger tokens is removed from the mulcher, it goes to accommodation. Yeah. Um, and uh, it cannot be moved um, from here by the mulcher's effect, so it can't re-grab you. So we want to get grabbed by the mulcher. And then rip someone out. And them. then pull each other out. Using the rest, the fitness test on him. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fun. <laughs> you know, at least we have uh, okay fitness, right, to, between us. Oh, yeah. So Go we, ahead. All right, I'm going to keep setting up my board here. I'm going to play 
a transverse ocarina. It comes with four melodies on it. I, you know what? I, my opinion. Oh wait, that's progress. <laughs> my opinion, but I think we should rename the melodies to Toots. <laughs> <laughs> you know? it, it would it, it would fit better. Yeah, you know, like we we don't have that many characters in that little box. Yeah, the you, toot, toots would fit very nicely. Toot your ocarina to um, to get out of spirit speaking mode. <laughs> well, this is there's some there, there are some uh, token names that get like there's a lot like that that are like end up being very silly in play. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, there are quite a few that will make sense but just don't quite fit. It's yeah. A, yeah. All right, I'm going to spend my last spirit just connecting with this Woland. Yeah. Uh, whisper some sweet words in his little wolf ears. And then I plan to not have much, I don't have much fatigue, so I'm going to use Breathe into it for three. Yeah, you're connecting, right? Yep, connecting. Oh, okay, never mind. This is only when I do it. Um, Sorry. All right. Zero, so putting three on. We're triggering the mountain. Um, I'm going to save, I'm not going to, I don't need an energy, so I'm not going to use that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and the Caustic Mulcher is not a predator, and it's not active, so that's good. Go ahead. All right. Um, I don't have much I can do, but I do have a focus, so what I'm actually going to, no, wait, I can't do that, because I have to spend an energy to go into Spirit Speak, don't I? So. Yep. Ah, I, the, the, all the roles for the Spirit Speaker are really cool, and I picked this one because it's most flexible, but you do, it does have that cost. And I was like, oh, that would have been cool. Yeah, I, I, I personally like the one where you just have to go in at the beginning of the round. Keeper of the Grove. And do everything. I almost went with that, but I was like, I thought this was a cool combo. I can come out when I want. I Actually, it would have been cool with him because you could start in it and come out. But yeah, anyways, it's all cool. I asked Devi for some tips, and he was like, let's show that one. That one seems like a good one to start with. So Yeah, it's, it's nice and flexible. Yeah, it's also like the least complicated of the three in some ways. Or maybe not. The other one's pretty not complicated. Yeah, the beginning of the round ones, but it's harder to use well, I think. Because um, you have to kind of know, you have to be able to see the entire round ahead in yeah, your mind's eye. Yeah. Um, why not just remember? Eh? Right? I mean. Well, I mean, it, it shortens your deck, but that's fine. I think I might. Actually, you know, I have plenty of cards. I'm going to, I'm just going to rest. Okay. Let's just, let's just rest. All right. Resting. Energy back. Yes. Draw a ranger card. And then path cards. Hey, there's that bramble. Then you draw a path. Ah, uh, prowling wolf. All right, so. <laughs> Just so you know, I have this go forth fearless ranger. So if there's a test that that would be useful on. Mm -hmm. We could show this off a little bit. All right, so we actually have... <laughs> There's something tricky here, which I didn't think about, mm -hmm. which is uh, the mulch is going to have to grab your spirits. Oh, really? Does yeah. this happen? Before it will grab us. <gasps> I didn't realize it could do that. Yeah. That's interesting. I think I don't think the spirit keyword prohibits that from happening. So oh. it prohibits a lot of things because they're like not really like in this world. But I think the caustic mulcher can grab those spirits, which is kind of a pain in our butt. Uh, so basically, we want to get all of these beings as inactive as possible so that the caustic mulcher grabs us. Right? Mm -hmm. It probably should be our main goal. But unfortunately, I don't think. We can really exhaust your spirits. Interesting. Yeah. Um, if it exhausts and attacks into the battle realm. Wild. So yeah, so we're gonna have to trigger that a few times, unfortunately. But we also have to traverse, so we've got a few things to do here. I, I, I didn't quite realize that. Uh, well, let me check my spirits for just because I might have something I can do. So you could shuffle your spirits away so they're not active, like mm -hmm. over to somebody else's zone, like over to my zones. So you could shuffle Spirit of the Valley back down here, and then it's and then I get grabbed, 
and we shuffle your spirits over here, then you get grabbed. But that might be more convoluted than just clearing the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I did, yeah, I did not expect this. Well, it, avoid. Can you not avoid a spirit? It says exhaust one being. Um, yeah, I think you. Um, I'd have to look up the. I, I think. Is... I think we've been working on the spirit keyword, and I think it prohibits you from using common tests on them. Interesting. Because you can't connect with the spirits; you have to commune with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I so see. I don't think you can avoid them either. So this is an interesting interaction with the mulcher. Interesting. Um, I'm going to start us off by kind of getting these trail markers on here. Yeah, so we're going to need, I'm gonna need that. I'm going to need that. Okay, so we should get rid of some of the other beings in play. Yeah. Post haste. Okay. Or, or exhaust them. So I'm probably going to I'm going to try to connect with this prowling woolen to get rid of him and then mm -hmm. uh, probably avoid that Sitka buck. Oops. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't I didn't expect that interaction. That makes sense though. But it's wild. Alright, go ahead. Um, alright. This is where one second here. Um, I should probably just connect to this wolf like crazy, I guess, right? Yeah, or avoid it. Probably one of the two. Oh yeah, I, I think I could get rid of them. Uh, I will put a couple cards. I have a lot of. I got one, three, four. Five. <laughs> Let's just hope for a plus one, I guess. Um, so that's five a spirit, five effort um, on a connect test with the woolen. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that's just five right away. That's uh, that's fine. I was kind of hoping for a plus one. Yeah. Um, so these get discarded um, after I succeeded a connect test after succeed would be immediately or but like before this uh yeah yeah okay, so right so now but this, before the I'll get a fatigue I'll sue the fatigue and then uh sound effects which is okay we, that's what we wanted to fire yep. off so um so it rains just, yeah it rains jeez yeah, nothing here is, um, nothing there so if there's another active being exhaust it uh so we probably want it to start grabbing your spirits. I'm I'm double checking the spirit keyword now, but yeah, yeah. It's, I looked at it the other day, but I uh, when I was building this deck. We're playtesting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that, that that interaction works fine. So I think we want him to grab your spirits so that he can start grabbing us. All right. Probably. Which one do you think? Maybe the um... the Atrox spirit isn't charged yet. So so yeah. Should I, probably that one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So exhaust it and attach it. Yep. Okay. That's not going off. And I guess it doesn't matter they take harm because they can't. Yep. Uh, yeah. This one doesn't have the little harm box though. Uh yeah, it will. Okay, okay. Um so uh ready another prowling woolens. This one's already ready. All right. So I think, yeah. Ooh, my knee. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna need these hearts. Hmm. I'm not that great at connecting. Well, uh, do you have conflict? Can you avoid some stuff? I do have some conflict. We didn't draw a, a shuffle card, did we? Okay. I'm amazing at traversing, but we don't quite want to do that yet. Mm -hmm. I'd like to only have to dodge the caustic mulcher and not have to deal with this yet. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I can 
soothe. Hope one of these has a heart on it connection. I think I'm just going to connect with the Prowling Wolf Hunt for two. Okay. I think that's the thing to do. Uh, up to five. <laughs> We're good at that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. All right. Well, we can do this right off the bat. Also, I suffer fatigue. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can, if you want to scout, scout. I think we should, okay. right? This is going to get buried under there anyway. All right, so... We don't really care for mountains. We just want more sun effects, right? Yeah, so we probably bury this one. Yeah, although, if there's an active prey, exhaust it. Add progress to it. Like, you could potentially exhaust the Sitka buck. But this, you'll probably draw this on your return. Since this is the next one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really need to connect more to that dang wool and I wish I would have got him out of there. Yeah, you and me both. We're ruled at five. We, we yeah. did not sequence that right. Um, well, I mean, but I could always like pluck a berry or something. You know what I mean? Or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm putting in the bottom so we get more suns. All right, all right. Let's get more suns. You're, 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 you're thinking smarter than me. All right. Um, so you, we can't add harm to that Atrox. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Then we go down here. There isn't a Sitka Doe, unfortunately. Oh, sh shoot. I have three fatigue. <sighs> uh, I should have found a way to get one extra effort on there. That's rough. All right, well, chomp. Oh, man. I'm sorry. That's okay. If, if only you would have played a moment. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's okay. This is how we learn. Yep. We're not that advanced. There's Walk With Me. Oh my. I haven't seen Walk With Me all game. Oh my god. Go ahead. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we took on a lot today, I gotta say, so far. Uh, we, no, we got this. We got this. We got, we got this. We're doing good. We're doing good. Um, well, that's smelly. But hey, you know what? You're almost, you're almost there. Let me see. Can I, what can I do? Trust me when I tell you I'm not worried about... Uh, Traveling away. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have any con. I guess I have the... Have these. Oh, man. Oh. I have... I have a bomb play. Well, next round, I have a bomb play. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. By the way, when I do like an awaken test, I choose a ranger. Do I go through all your stuff to do that to you? Nope. Oh, nice. I'm just curious. Sorry. I'm just trying to decide. Ooh. You know what? I can do something cool. All right. That helps. Um, I guess it's not. It doesn't quite help as much as we could. We need it to, but. I'm just going to do it for, for, because I don't know what else to, I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to do this instead. Um, I'm going to use an awareness to spirit speak. Right? Use, exhaust my role. Mm -hmm. um, and then I gain a fatigue, I, I, I uh, soothe the fatigue because of the stout hearted ranger. Oops, a little sketchbook. And so now I switch over to my spirit speaker tests. Now I can use influence to move a feature being. Okay. Um, which would be nice to like get some people out of my hair. Like I could get this woolen out of the way. Th that progress stays on them even when they go oh, yeah. on there, right? So I could still load up my Spirit of the Valley. Oh yeah, for, yeah. For you should definitely be commuting with yeah. e either one. You can. Can you I can still commute? No, with yeah, you can still commute. Oh, with that, that okay. Trust. I'm gonna. I'm. Gonna, this is good. I mean, he can't trigger his challenge effects while he's yeah. attached there, but um, or because he's exhausted. Yeah, this is handy. Um, I am going to. I can also do yours because I dodge everything in between. So if there's a card you want me to move instead. But otherwise, I'm going to do this wolf. I'm going to uh, two fitness and what is it? Reason? Oh, I don't really have a reason. <laughs> don't but have a reason. I just need to draw suns anyway. So I'm going to hope that this works, right? So just two straight up. I need to do, beat two to succeed. Right? Equal to the presence. Yeah. A plus one. So I um, move a feature being. Yep. And then um, we uh, we got sun effects. 
So it rains on us one more time. So suffer fatigue. This one doesn't go off. Yeah. Already another prowling Wolund. Oh, I'm sorry. And then uh, you may move up to... I don't have that. If there's another active being, attach it. So probably attach the spirit. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we're going to get rid of other stuff. And yeah, we need to get these out of the way so that we can yeah. get we can get grabbed ourselves. Yep. Yeah, honestly, in every other situation, it grabbing your spirits is probably good good a good thing. But oh here yeah, yeah. it's kinda bad. It's just caustic mulcher here, because we're doing this specific thing where it's like, please eat us. Yep. <laughs> like if we weren't right because they would just be like handy fodder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um all right, well, um yeah. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do. This is where I can like break out a spirit speak if I wanted to, but I'm gonna want to because I'm gonna commune. All right, I'm this Ooh. bramble. Oh well, okay. I only have one fatigue, so this guy can't injure me again. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna traverse this bramble for three. Mm-hmm. Clear it. Sun. Nothing here. Nothing here. Woolen's already ready. I can grab! Oh no, there's still... Ugh. Yeah, you gotta get the... Uh, all Every, three of those. Everybody's going under. Because it says active, so... Yeah. The butt, We kind of want the butt gone. So, it's it, we're, we just needed to get stuff attached, yep. right? Like... Yep, yep. The right. only reason we did these is because we were hoping we could clear them without the sun effect. So, it's right. annoying, but... Go ahead. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna commune. I'm gonna spend three and... Um, just give me one sec. Ooh, so sketchbook would have been handy here. I'll do four. Right? No, I, yeah, maybe I don't need that much. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, I'll do uh, four. I'm communing with... So I'm going to get a fatigue from the Sunbury Bramble. And I'm going to commune with... Uh, oh, which one do you think I should do? The Spirit of the Valley or Aatrox? Both Spirit. good. Both good. Getting that Aatrox rolling, but you can ch just, I think you just dump it all on the Spirit of the Valley. Oh, because the Spirit of the Valley can move it to someone to, else. Over to the Aatrox. The, the sun yeah. effect, right? Yeah. So, um, so you yeah. might as well put it there. So, okay, so that's four. I just need to succeed in its presence of zero. So, here we go, ready? Hey, so right, that's so eight. eight progress on the day. So put down a six. Oh, th that one's a one still. Yeah, uh, no, no, but... Oh, you're putting it on the. Oh, no, no, you're, you're, you're right. You're right. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Duh. We just talked about this. Um, I'd get a fatigue because I'm worried about... God uh -oh. dang it. Why do I keep looking at the card? Um, Uh-oh. If you have three or more fatigue, exhaust. Oh, man. Oh. It's okay. I got a, I got an injury already, too. Well, I could get rid of stout-hearted ranger. Is it an injury, right? Yep. Um, if you have three or more fatigue, exhaust this being. So for one fatigue. When you would discard your fatigue stack due to an injury, discard this tail instead. Oh, it doesn't say you may. It just does it. So, okay. I get rid of the scout, scout hearted ranger. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I keep my fatigue test. Stack. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it's there for. That's, yeah, that's that's handy. All right, and then the Sitka Buck got a, a harm from this. Your spirits still don't, but... Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Sorry. Nature is wild. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, just have focus left and a little bit of awareness. Um, I guess if I exhaust this wool hunt and draw a sun, I get grabbed. So I think I'm going to actually do an avoid. And we both want to get grabbed, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to do an avoid on the wool hunt. Sweet. So I exhaust him with the avoid. Mm -hmm. Then we go down the suns and I get grabbed. Ah! Hey! That's good. And then no other suns here. Sorry. Um, and then this cycles. Yeah. All right, so how do we actually get me out of here? Rest. We got to do a fitness two. test, yeah. Exhaust this biomeld, then remove a ranger or unattach a being from it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm so glad that I I didn't even look to see if I could put some sketchbook in my deck because I don't want awareness. But I was like, oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. That would have been hilarious if I, if I had a two awareness card. Uh, go ahead. Um, well, I have nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, let's, let's... You gonna rest? I'm gonna rest. I rest. Not rest. 
<laughs> rest, rest, no, rest. No W there. Uh, two on the weather. Draw a card. Oh, I'm getting Draw nervous. Draw a path card. Uh, I got another buck. Draw your path card. Yeah, sorry. I'm just anxious to see what uh, it is. Uh, overgrown thicket. If oh. only high was here to just throw it in a pot. I just realized that both these cards, I kept the white stock in, and I was like, these are thick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Oh, that thicket is unfortunate. That's annoying. But you know what? I have still a sketchbook in my hand. Okay. So that could help. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, I mean, I just need to get on that guy, right? It's really like what I need to be doing. If I rest you off though and get a sun, that's fine. That works, right? Oh! What? No! I could have done something awesome last turn, but I was... Oh, no? I was thinking about the wrong aspect, because it, it's not important. That's okay. We'll do it this round. Um, so we got to get the buck and the wands out of the way so I can get on that thing. Yep. Uh, so we just really need this one gone. So... Why that one? Oh, because cause these aren't active are, Those are in your zone. Yeah, that's right. So I could just get rid of it. I could do Soul Sketchbook and immediately exhaust it. I mean, that's actually a pretty legitimate play. And then just, right? Like, immediately exhaust what? Soul Sketchbook, exhaust wrong one. I think it only exhausts features, right? Exhaust a path card. Oh, okay. Or you, you could just finish off and connect with it, right? True. I only need to put one on it, and I can sue the fatigue by doing that. So, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I might connect with it and see where that gets us. I will connect. Um, trying to decide. I don't want to give up all these hearts. Uh, three. And, uh, and you did the Gathering Dorm, right? Yep. Okay, thank you. So minus one, I'm glad that I gave the plus one. All right, um, so, so it clears. Clears, and then mountains, which is just Nothing. over on thicket. Nothing. It doesn't matter if there's an active prey, there's not. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Cool beans. Um, Man, I, 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 I'm, I'm missing that Spirit of the Valley right now. Oh, and I just connected. So. Oh, yeah. If that Spirit of the Valley wasn't grabbed, we could... Like I scout a scouting challenge and, and, yeah, I know, uh, I know. It would be really handy right now. But uh, honestly, like I, I know we didn't get the spirits out right away because we didn't have an immediate use. But I wish I had the Lutronol when we were at. I know that Lutronol would have been really cool to show off because uh, we had Lutronols one, and it mm -hmm. does stuff with those. But two, it does non-spirit beings. So you load it up with progress, like Pokedo almost, and let it spray its progress all over the people. No, I'll put yeah, it like sorry. that. <laughs> sorry. No, 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 sorry. It's spread, spread it, spread it around. I'm connecting with this woman. Oh, God. What's wrong with me? <sighs> Clearing it. We go down the mountains. There's no active predator. So, go ahead. All right. <laughs> sorry. No, you're fine. You can, uh, there, oh, there's no like unique on Spirit of the Valley, right? You can play two of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just asking, asking for a friend. I don't um, think, wait, hang on. No, it is unique. Oh, it is, okay, it is unique. It's just the other ones. Sorry, I, I don't actually remember where to look for unique on mm -hmm. some of, uh, because uh, I haven't ran into a lot of that in my own playthrough. Um, so I think I probably should just rest you free. That's probably, I think you doing it is better because you get the plus one from yeah. me, whereas if I do it, I don't. I could do this real quick just to get it out of the way. Yeah, you might. And then... <laughs> Uh, Hold on one second. I just got to eat some fruit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Um, I need to beat two. Mm -hmm. One, two. I'll just use my other Spirit of the Valley. Why not? And I don't want to use this right away. I think I will, though. I'll do Ranger Badge. Um, so that's three. Just, just trying to make sure I'm Kay. safe here. Plus one. Right. So plus one. 
That's four. I pluck the little fruits. Uh, so I did a two, two fatigue? Yeah. Yep. Heck yeah. And then uh, this is gone. Clear this. No mountains again. Mountains again. Nothing. All right. So it's me. Yep. Okay. So. Oh, man. Yeah. We really need that sun for me to. I really am hoping we can still rescue off this round. Um, so I'm yeah. Gonna, I could exhaust I my that roll for that. twice. I need at least one focus. So what do I do to stall for a turn so you can go? I could just throw a quick avoid at this buck, I guess. I don't uh, think I need my awareness for anything. Is there a moment you could play or something? You could suit some fatigue. I've got an eagle eye, players. but I don't want to draw the card. So I'm just going to throw a, a quick avoid at this buck to stall. Oh, of course, I draw the... I draw the sun. But you exhaust it. Yep. And then it says, if not, move your yep, ranger so. badge. Of course. But we, we get to reshuffle. Dun, dun, dun. All right. All the mountains go back in. Yeah, all the mountains go back in. All right, you're up. I really wish that dang Spirit of the Valley was around so I could scout challenge cards. We right. could we could rest we could rest the Spirit of the Valley off, but, but then, then it needs to get grabbed again. again. Yeah, it's pointless. Yeah. Um. All right. So I rest me off. I think. I think that's what we do. And hopefully you get grabbed in the process. Two. Three. That's the best I can do. Well, you have. Oh, uh, plus one for me. Oh, as well. and yeah, plus one. Yeah, thank you. Four. Oh man. Uh, minus one. So that's that's perfect. So Sweet. we rest you free. Accommodation uh, goes and grabs it. So I'm here. Yep. And then I says, after you succeed the test in which you committed this attribute, you may place a card from the hand to add this attribute back to your hand. Uh, on top of my fatigue, I can place it on top of my. Sorry, I'll, I'll not rush that. I, uh, after you succeed a test in which you committed this attribute, you may place a card from your hand on top of your fatigue stack and to add this back to your hand. And I'm like trying to decide. I don't know if it's. Yeah, I will. I'll you do, want the conflict? Uh, I will. Because I, 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 for another rest later, maybe, if, if needed. I yeah. mean, there's no mountains, right? Um, so. Uh, that one doesn't trigger. Hmm. Now we just need a dang sun. So just like any test you can do. You wanna hunt? You wanna you wanna traverse that? You know? Right? Yeah, I mean I can so I can do traverse. I was hoping to kind of save this to rescue free. Oh, I see, I see. And I made this a trail so I can do a really bomb traverse and then yeah. perfect recall, uh walk with me and do that big combo. You could remember. Or look for shelter. Uh, you know, it's past the council. No, yeah. uh, I, I can dodge something, but the overgrown oh, thicket's yeah, yeah. obstacle. So between these two, I don't really want to interact up there. So I, I'm just going to get rid of that thicket, I think. Okay. So let's save. So I'm just going to throw one, two. I guess I, I, the one thing I'm, I do like about the Spirit Speaker is that I can always, if I'm like, what do I do? I can just like commune. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, remember is not always something you want to throw your energy into. Yeah. In, but like commune is like, I mean, totally worth double it. Double progress. Just dump it on a card. This doesn't, I don't know if this is worth it, but I'm actually putting trail markers on here as well. Just marking everything. Marking it up. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so you just played that? That mm -hmm. wasn't like a... T okay. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do, because I... We could, I guess commune. commune does. That's what I was just going to say. Uh, commune. I just go three straight yep. with... Uh, on. I guess I'll do the Atrox this time for fun. Right. Uh, please be a sun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Two, uh, so four. Four. Just get into the suns again. Not, nothing from the mountains. Yep. All right. Well, I, I, I'm not gonna be able to rest you, so I might as well That's do fine. two, three. Get rid of that thing. Um, and then it's gonna add the trail markers. Will add one. So as long as I don't draw minus one, I clear it. That's I don't know if I like that risk. Oh, but all these cards are good. Oh no! Wait. Here we go. Perceptive. Yeah, and you gain awareness. 
So four, three, so add three. Trail markers adds a fourth. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. Look oh. That's, I added the trail marker so I could strider that, but I'm uh, going fast for the stream, yeah, so I'm yeah, not no, really thinking okay. about it. Okay. Uh, all right, so then I drew the sun, of course. Um, Gosh. <laughs> the, uh, hey, that's, that's the game. Yeah. Uh, so this one doesn't trigger, and I cannot be pulled off of accommodation. Yeah, it says yeah. That. So the Mulcher's effects can't pull Jeez. me back off. So uh, yeah. that, that's it for me. Uh, okay, so now I need three, to... I'm not going to use Perfect Recall. Uh, man, I don't know. Uh, I got to rest. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to dodge the Caustic Mulcher I to start. shelter. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's good. Because I don't want any more fatigue. All right. So we get two. Yep, so that's both. So just one rain less. No, so it's, a no it's one for every two oh, effort. Oh, jeez, okay, thank you. Um, and then crest, so I'd suffer a fatigue. The buck gets another, needs three. Mm -hmm. And nothing there. Yeah. All right. Jeez, and that's a, take this shuffle again, man. Go ahead. <sighs> um, I'm, I, you resting? I, I rest. I'm yeah, resting too. Yeah. This accommodation, it's, we're, we're almost there. It's brutal. I only have six cards left. Um, I have six as well. All right, hey. Hey. We're pretty matched up there. We're like Pacific Rim, what do they call it? <laughs> yeah. Drifting. Drift compatible. Drift compatible. <laughs> Hmm. All right, I need you to go first. I need you to get it grabbed by this no, guy. No, <laughs> I know, I know. I'm like, do I just do like this and then, ex you know what I mean? Um, Trust me, if you get grabbed by this guy, we got a stew oh, going. because I unexhausted. I'm common test mode. Wait, oh, I might have misplayed. Hmm. I might have not spirit spoke when I did the commune. So you would have just had to spend to uh, spend an energy to go yeah, into spirit yeah, taking, yep, so yep. you would have one less it, effort. Yeah, it's, fine. it's okay. I, I I keep forgetting that cost because I almost went with the other one. Which yeah, the one that does yeah, for yeah. free. And so it keeps throwing my brain off. Did you um, draw a path card? I did not. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh no! It's another thicket. Oh my god! You know what though? It gives me something to throw. Yeah. Why don't you tests Why don't you traverse that? At. Yeah, I'll traverse that. Actually, let me go first. It, do you have enough to... Do you think you can clear it in one go? Probably. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think it's four. I can go, like, straight at four. Uh, I could also do the here. hunt. I'll go for, before you. Discarding a boundary sensor to play another boundary sensor. Oh, okay. And then you go ahead. Okay, now that's, that's, that's legitimate. Um... Uh, all right. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Yep. Sun, sun, sun. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Well, at least it's gone. All right. So yep. overgrown. So that clears. Gone. Uh, I get a crest. So I. Oh, this gets tough. Uh, so you. Fatigue. Um, yep. So you suffer the fatigue from that. This adds harm to the buck, which clears. Yep. Sorry. I'm like grabbing it right in your hand. And then that goes away. Yep. Um, okay. Oh, I need, I need it. Uh, I just keep playing things. Or I guess I could exhaust my, my roll and to go, go again. again. Yeah. I'll exhaust my roll and go a second time. And I... It means you won't be able to spirit speak this round though. I, I know, which is kind of honestly what I need to be doing. I can go over here, right? I won't have to go through the Mulcher to connect with something over here. Yeah, you can just connect with this. Oh, but as soon as I do, it's active. Yeah, everything in this area is active Shit. if you interact with something over here. Excuse my language. <laughs> um, so you could avoid the Mulcher. You could, just fa like, you could just do a doomed avoid to try to fish for the... 
Yeah, no, um, I could. Yeah, you're right. I could do that. I could also. You could do. With you could do a remember. You could start doing small remember tests. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I'll do. A, um, I'll do. A, um, it's like a one remember. Yeah. I. What if I? I'm gonna connect with the mulcher for fun. I'm gonna try and smooch that mulcher. Yeah. Two. Yeah, why not? I'm That's just... a great way to get grabbed, is just try to smooch it. Yeah, yeah. Come here, Mulcher. <laughs> I'm coming. I want to give you some pets. Please eat me. For... Oh my gosh, please. Um, all right. Hey! hey! I put three progress on the Mulcher. You really smooch that Mulcher. And <laughs> he is... smooches you back. This whole time, I could have just walked up to it yeah. and got eaten. <laughs> and I, I should have thought of that. If I just didn't keep running around all the time. So, all right, I'm on the mulcher, uh, sun effects, uh, that's, that's it. Yep. So, oh, thank gosh. Uh, and I don't have any more songs in my heart harmonizer to, to soothe fatigue. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe I should have avoided one of these bucks, because I'm actually going to take a ton of fatigue here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Still sketchbook, man. I should have. I should have played it earlier. But I need that. You can dodge one. Well, I need the dodge for later, mm -hmm. for reasons. So actually, I should have gone before you. But then I would have gotten the sun. Yeah, no, this worked out. This is what we gotta do. Um. All right. So I'm gonna first. I think I'm gonna avoid one of these because otherwise I'm taking yeah. four fatigue. Yeah, so yeah. I think I'm, I'm. I just have to go. Plain one to one and mm -hmm. hope. Come on. All right. Hey, that's good. All right, one um, down. Mountain, nothing, nothing. No active predator. Nice. Go ahead. Um, I will play Sill's sketchbook and I will exhaust it to make that other buck. Oh, awesome. awesome. Okay. That's, thank you. That's perfect. Okay. So then I'm going to go one, two. Plus one from you for a three rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So accommodation. Yeah, we read that first. Oh man, we have had a great. This is the most productive. I know. Advanced playcast episode. I think we've had besides maybe the first day one, one was pretty productive. Where you productive. guys went across the entire valley in like uh, no time. That says 140. Uh, it says. Sorry, I'm looking the wrong yeah. way. Yeah, 140. Yeah. Oops. I wish I had a spotter to check camera. <laughs> Train my cats to run cameras. My phone is unhappy right now, so we'll just use the book. Oh, you having issues? Yeah, just like my data bars went to zero for some reason. Mm. There something, you go. That's something that we got to get working on in the Living Valley is at some point get it to do to cash. Uh, where you can pin it and it like is an app, but it's a whole to do. It's not as easy as I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> um. You yelp despite yourself as you feel the mulcher's tongue grab you. For a brief, hideous moment, you feel the acid start to burn your skin, even though the thick layer of broadleaf paste you coated yourself with beforehand. Even, wait, even through. <laughs> uh, then the mulcher spasms a bit as it tastes the paste and drops you back to the ground, slimy but alive. Now rushes over from where she's been hiding behind a rock. That proves it. <laughs> she's hanging out on boys' day. She's falling. Yeah, apart. this is uh, supposed to be boys' day, no? <laughs> Jeez, that proves it. She gasps with excitement. The caustic mulchers don't eat everything. They seem to avoid living plants, or at least she runs her finger through the paste on your skin and flips it onto the ground. Something that tastes like a living plant. And since only the weaker or sicker animals tend to be grabbed by it, the mulcher does. Does does clean the land of the dead, dying, or rotting. Though it is a biomeld, it's merged into the ecosystem. She hugs you, then pulls back as she remembers you're covered in broadleaf paste and stinging mucus. Oh, yes, we should get you washed. Complete the accommodation mission and write Understood the Mulcher on the campaign tracker. Each ranger soothes two fatigue. Bow! Bow, 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 bow. 
Uh, there we go. That's all the fatigue I had. Um, <clears throat> after you clean yourself up, you get to thinking. There are several infamous mega predators throughout the valley. You remember in your training that some of the elders want uh, want to see these predators. The, the, oh gosh. You remember in your training that some of the elders want to see these predators eliminated to keep people in the rest of the valley safe. Maybe it's worth investigating them too, in case understanding them demonstra demonstrates a way to coexist. Maybe you can even befriend them? You should talk to the elders of the various villages to learn more. All right. No extra rewards from that. We already got the gauze plate oh, at the start, yeah, but yeah, yeah. still. Back to you. Oh man. Uh, it, was a, it was a mountain, and so. So we just need to get, I mean, out of here. One, two, three, four, five. yeah. We need to save one, but like, well, search mission stays around, right? Yep. Yeah. We'll have that tomorrow. So this is okay. We did everything that is on a day timer here. Mm -hmm. So if we can just camp, we'll be okay. But we can also maybe try to do more. Just kidding. I have five cards in my deck. <laughs> it's very... Oh yeah, no, the day is almost over. Maybe I think we want to, we just want to get out of here at this point. Yeah, yeah. Um... All right, my turn, right? Yep. So, um, I think I can do most of getting out of us out of here. <laughs> yeah, that Malter is a problem. It's not. It's not. No. Why? Because you can. Uh, I got it. You got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What are you up to? Um, but I can't go again because I need to use my roll, unfortunately. So I can't go twice in a row. Well, okay, okay. I will just for fun. Because I can, no, I can't do that. Ah, I, man, I don't really have much I can do. I'm going to rest. Okay. I am going to dodge the mulcher to traverse the location for one. Mm -hmm. And I made it a trail. Oh, yeah. Duh. I forget you can dodge. So four, mm -hmm. <laughs> seven, <laughs> ah. eight. Oh, my gosh. So as long as that's straight up. All right, so we, oh! we add eight. So that is... Hang on, I'm math, not done. Math, math. <laughs> I am going to spend one focus to use reverb block it to play, perf to play perfect recall. Yeah. To recall walk, walk with, with me. me, to add eight also to the mulcher, clearing the mulcher. Wait, does it take all the uh, attached stuff goes back, right, into play when this happens? Um, oh, that's true, actually. Hang on. It's okay. This is the end of the day. That's like, true. Like, We're okay. I, 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 you're going to let wanna, your spirits rest? Do we want to rest? Do we want to rest your spirits for Let's before? do it. We're going to go camping tonight. It's okay. okay. So, so just, yeah. okay. No, it's okay. All right. So clearing the mulcher. So these get cleared, too. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. Like so. Yeah, so it's... Uh, they helped us out today. I got them eaten. They're mad at me. <laughs> um, like... <laughs> all right. And then, so... Progress there. Progress there from Walk With Me. I would soothe fatigue from my boots, but I don't have any. Then we resolve the sun. Nothing here, nothing there. All right. Let me complete this. Oh, yep. Yeah, thank you. Oh... All right, man. That one that does help a lot, actually. Just like getting that one off. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. So we are traveling then. Yeah, we rest to yeah, travel because I'm already rested. All right, we travel. So uh, I guess do we? I don't know if uh, who's playing the next day. We'll have to kind of decide that. But it could be us again. Um, it, most people have been doing two in a row. We were kind of talking going this way. To go fractured yeah, wall. Put it on the table. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, we've been almost playing. I know. It's been so long since we've played that we're almost playing as though we're just hanging out playing the game. <laughs> I know. All right, so we're we were thinking of going down to fractured wall mm -hmm. to get down to spire. Yeah, um, that'd be wild. So it's a lot of mountains, but that could potentially help us find Lun. Mm -hmm. And it's about the same distance going this way anyway. Yeah, and it also just sounds fun. Uh, yeah. I've not been over that way, and we might run into some cool stuff. Do we want to try to go clean up Golden Shore, or are we just... Um, that was Obo Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Mountain Nim it is. Uh, that messed that up, so we're going to find our friend. We're going to... Excuses, okay. excuses. So, so, so let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Here's the question. You got five cards left? Yeah, I have five cards. Do we rest for the night? Do we camp? Sorry, do we camp for the night? <laughs> <laughs> so that we can 
swap all these sweet rewards into our deck, or do we go one more location and see if we can traverse? Well, we got we want to find Lun, right? We do. That's true. Before we get to fractional, yeah, wall. I think that's the thing. We all right. we we want to have a couple that way. Tom like tomorrow, we could travel. We could find Lun along a couple paths. That's yeah. my thought. I, I know I know this isn't live, but I can feel Andrew watching this video going like, go for it! I know, well, we're already like, <laughs> two, I know, also, I know Andrew, he'd be like, how long have we been recording? And I think we've been going like two hours. Yeah. So maybe slightly above, like, we've been having a pretty, we've actually had a really long day. It's, I'm yeah, sure. yeah. For it's, having a downpour, I'm pretty surprised. Well, like, you're using a deck you've never played before. Yeah. Right? And so, like, and a bunch of brand new cards to you. So it, that's... We took some time explaining yeah. and stuff. But, all right, you're right. Let's camp for the night. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to call it here. Mm -hmm. We are going to... Uh, Mount Nim. Mount Nim via mountains. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to camp. So we can put some cool stuff in there. We can put... We ended our mission to unlock as many rewards as possible with four new rewards. We... Uh, increase the number of rewards we have by 200 percent. Yeah, I mean we did two We we, we did one mission I guess technically, but we yeah. had two helping hands. Yeah Well kind of three because we, we we did that other side activity of the uh, the trick of the light. Too, yeah, so, so we kind of yeah, that's wild. All right super, it was good, good, good work super productive. Uh, good work Scully Cooper. Thank I you. appreciate your help. I forgot how dumb that name is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you everybody so much for watching uh, I, I believe when this comes out, late pledges will be available yes. for the Stewards of the Valley as well as our next campaign expansion, Leg the An Legacy of the Ancestors. So make sure to go check that out on our GameFound page. You'll be able to late pledge there. And uh, otherwise, join us next time to see if we can find Lun. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.